And we are live again. It is Saturday evening. It is time for another Gen X Grown Up live stream. Welcome back to Gen X Grown Up. I'm John. I am a Gen X Grown Up. And again, we're not alone. Both Mo and George are here via audio chat. Hey, guys. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Hey, everybody. <laughs> we, uh, we're actually about to release a new audio podcast next week that's all about handheld electronic games, from the football games to... Uh, the tabletop games that Coleco did. And one of the things we talk about in that show that we recorded was the Nintendo Game & Watch. And they released a ton of those. and But w none of us had ever actually played them much, right? Yeah, I know. <laughs> no. 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 I, I think I had one friend that had one of mm -hmm. them, and so I got to play it a few times in middle school. But mm -hmm. that was the only memory I had of them. Yep. Yeah, I didn't know that they were – I didn't know they had this many of them, to be honest. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, I mean, I knew they had, like, I saw them around, but I never, like, there'd be a big collector's market for them. Uh, but the cool thing is that though I never owned them and though they are a collector's item, recently MAME, the arcade emulator, added Game & Watch into their emulation. But not just like, like, oh, you can play the game, kind of. They've added overlays and stuff, so it's almost, like, perfect. So let me bring up the first oh, one and really? show you. So check this out. Ba blam Ba blam so it's like photorealistic. Oh, wow, yeah, it's really neat. <laughs> and and I have like all of these. I don't, there oh, must wait be. A I have played this one. Like, okay, <laughs> must be like seventy or eighty of them out there. And okay, so one out of seventy. All right. So so just that. I just I don't want to play through these and see. Now some of them are really rudimentary junk, and some of them are pretty cool. Um, but the key thing about game and watch. Hey, Ericus is here. Hey, Ericus T two. David, hey, every guy, hey guys. One of the cool things hey. about the uh, the game and watch is that it was a game and a watch. And so right now I have it in watch mode. You can see it says 701 up in the corner. I think it's, it's <laughs> slow by a minute or so. Later, when the watch is not the uh, primary function. That, that's not the draw, is it? <laughs> <laughs> it's game and oh, watch. game and you know, game and stuff. Yeah. So anyway, I really cool. Like when you push the buttons, see how the buttons depress a little bit. Like anything that you push, you can actually Pretty see cool. what we're doing. They did a really so good job. I'm just so using my use? keyboard. You can map okay. it to whatever. But uh, so this one is just called Ball. Ball. Okay. That's that's the creative name for this one. So I'm just gonna go into game well, A. Let's see the game. Yeah. We're gonna start checking it out. Hey, Miss So, welcome. Miss So. Yeah, so I can just move left and right. And... Hey, Mike B's here too. Hey, <laughs> hey Mike B. <laughs> T2. <laughs> Not shocked that I played ball first. Alphabetically, it was first, Tom. That's all. <laughs> yeah, get your mind out of the gutter. Come on. <laughs> Although I because there, is, there wasn't one called I Arrow think. or anything like that. It was just ball. <laughs> or just or juggler. Or... Right, you'd think there... it'd be called juggler. There are a lot of ways they could have went, that's for sure. Oh my god! Oh 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 oh! Now this, so one's... Happy, this one, yeah. Have you? Because yeah, it, it adds like you can have like I forget how many balls you can have. Oh god! T two. Tom, leave that one alone. I already have a problem with the game. What's your problem? What's that? It's called ball, not balls. <laughs> it's it, it's only named after the left one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it says John's always up for a good game of ball. Yeah, I am. That's true. As Resident Alien says, don't trust your balls. They're nuts. <laughs> That's right. You cannot do that. <laughs> Bad form. I guess it's going to get harder. And some of these, of course, get <laughs> crazy. Would you? Oh, come on now. Come on now. <laughs> it's Sorry. Just, it's so funny. I assume and this will become more difficult. Always guess. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. That's, that's a, little, a little close to home. <laughs> Oh, we have a, uh, David Guess is on. David Guess, 1980, right in our wheelhouse. Hey. Yep. Give him a lol there. See, blue humor. It's always, know your audience. You got to know your yeah. audience. Vicky Begley, hello. Good to see you. Certainly, I'm going to die shortly, but this one's not all that tough. I say, as I probably is rapidly speeding up. No, it, it, gets, it gets more complex. Yep. Now, I've sampled a lot of these in advance of the stream, and... They have really, like, the complexity and the interest level way, way exceed this one. This was one of the early ones. Let's get pretty fast. So we have 19 <laughs> people watching now and only 11 thumbs. I don't care whether they're up or down, but I want to see those numbers right. pretty No, easy. we do care. <laughs> we do. Oh, 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 please. Controversy cells. They can all be downs. 
<laughs> well, that that. Well, then, how will I be justified as a human being if they're down? It's, it's... Yeah, how will you, how will you acknowledge? How will you gain self worth? <laughs> that's really that's it. <laughs> if that's your problem, we're doing the wrong thing anyway with our time right now. <laughs> I'm really good at this. Mike, for somebody he says that's he can definitely tell you played with balls before. <laughs> Oh, and is uh, Vicky just joined too? Yeah, that's the one that? I said earlier. Vicky, oh, did I? Sorry, I was oh, distracted. Yeah. Right. All this talk about John's self worth kind of distracted me. Sorry. I figured it was his balls. Oh, I knew. Ex I knew where you were going, yeah, George. I knew where. I knew exactly where you were going with that. Ooh, this is getting tough. Uh, Erica says he played with the Mattel Electronics. We do remember those. Mm -hmm. We actually highlight those quite often in the podcast that John mentioned. That's yep. coming out next Whoa. Thursday. Whoa! Whoa! It's really and I'm guessing Miss So might have invited Vicky because she said, uh, glad that she made it. So that's awesome that our fans are reaching out to their friends and telling them about our live streams on our channel. Wow. You want to share the pain? I mean, the joy? Few yeah. things make me happier than knowing that you're willing to subject your friends to our lunacy. That's right. One of them is juggling balls, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I got to 100 points. This is easy. That's, that's a surefire way to drop it, is by saying it's easy. I guess Minor it, Tom has an interesting idea. Minor he says, Tom, hey, right. John. Yeah, he says, hey, John, when someone wins the Atari Pi, you should give a Gen X signed card with it. Oh, that's going to happen. Wait, signed by who? That's not even I... a maybe. By the squad, of course. <laughs> oh, uh, apparently Vicky is in the Discord. Misso was oh, telling cool. me that. Thank you for reminding me, Misso. That's why you're one of our awesome supporters and contributors. Always keeps me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> that's somebody's got it. And that's a trick. So good job, yeah. Misso. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. We haven't been able to. <laughs> I thought this would, I would die sooner. I just want to see what game B is here in a second. I figured I would drop Oh, uh, David said, pretty ballsy of you. <laughs> <laughs> see what you did there? All right. I'm going to intentionally let this one fall to see if I have one life or... Crush! Oh, crush! Oh, so, I like so that, that ends the whole game. But I want to, real quick, I want to show you with reset. You get to see the entire, like all the LCDs lit up. Uh, is it there? There it is. Which I think that's cool. So it could just drop on one side or the other, and you can see all of that. And well, then that's I'm, an important part about these games, right? They're all pre-drawn mm -hmm. LCD yeah. elements, right? And they just light different ones up as they're required for the game. Yep. I was you and I were talking when you were showing me this the other day, and I was saying, you know, it kind of reminds me um, of how comic strip artists or comic book artists have to convey motion with static images. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Yeah, not unlike that. You're right. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. So game B is just uh, more of that. Got it. <laughs> more of the same. <laughs> more of the same. Okay. All right. So let's move on. Do you have, so like, how many of these do I have? About uh, eighty plus. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> a few. And so a lot of them, though, the game A and the game B was a difficulty setting, right? Yes, I think that's true of the vast majority. Yeah. So uh, so the next one I have is the the crystal screen version of Balloon Fight. Balloon which, Fight. Which was an NES game, though not one that I'm super familiar with. Uh, looks like Erica Sip Thirty Six is saying, "Would be nice to do this with the Coleco Vision." Erica, are you talking about doing a live stream with it, or somehow the Coleco Vision being put into these game and watch type of things? So I'm setting setting the clock. Oh, this one has an alarm. Ooh, that's hot. Ooh. <laughs> Mike B says seventy nine of the games involve John and balls. <laughs> Probably not inaccurate. Why waste your time? All right, so this one only seventy nine. Oh, I just fell. Something wrong. I... Uh, Eric is saying, yes, a live stream. He'd like a live stream of ColecoVision. We will put that on the list, sir. Hmm, okay. Well, I just died right away, so I, I guess I'm out of play. I'd definitely like to be interested in one of, in television since that was the console that I never had but always wanted when I was a kid. <laughs> T2 says, of course John needs to set the clock. Yeah. There we go. It, for those of us who know John, know that that's the John thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's it's Flappy Bird, basically. Oh, okay. So you have a little upward velocity that you need to maintain and not go too high or too low to run into the other balloons, it looks like. Oh, okay. Oh, and you can stand I mean, on the little things if you want. That's a format that's been around for years, so. But they've done it. It looks like they've 
put it together. It's working well. okay. Yeah, it looks like I can yeah. land on these a little bit if I want. Okay. Yep, it's just left left motion. Although I haven't got no no score yet. Okay. Maybe I have to catch the balloons. Oh, no score. That's that score's not working. Oh, I catch yep. the balloons. You what do I do? What do I dodge then? What's the, oh, if you fall down? I guess. I guess maybe. maybe. Okay. Or there might be bosses later on, uh, or something cool. that you have to fight. Speaking of bosses. That's right. That's right. Just as soon as we have a super <laughs> sticker or a super chat or a new member or anything, it will begin. Ooh, just died. It will begin the stream boss battle. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> so we're not doing the hot jelly beans, the yuck jelly beans, or the hot sauce this time. John found a new little toy inside of YouTube that he can play with a little bit. Yep. So we wanted you guys to be able to participate and play in a game as well. Yep. So like John said, when the first super sticker or first donation or anything like that comes through, you'll get to start playing, I, what's it called, boss something or stream a stream boss, boss or stream something boss. like that. Yep, like, yeah. a, like a boss battle. Yeah, like you were saying, a boss. Oh. Speaking of which. There we go. <laughs> the the first one. Oh, look at that. You just attacked me. All right, so it decreased, it decreased my health meter. By 60, it looked like. Hmm. Oh, no, a little bit more than that. Yep. Looks like uh, 68. So what happens, Mo, if somebody else becomes the boss of the screen? Let's see. It's just basically... Oh, now T2, is it? Well, I no, guess. it's not that he's the boss. It's that he also took hit points out of He's the also boss. damaged the boss. Yes, uh, we're the boss. Uh, we're the damn boss. GXG's the boss. <laughs> So I think the way that John talked about it working, oh, there's Mike B with three dollars. Thank you, Mike B. Hey. Um, is that if Ooh, that meter gets all the way knocked down before we end the screen, then whoever is the person who knocks off the last hit points becomes the stream the boss. boss. And when Ooh. we get to that point, then we're gonna Ooh. announce I'll some. I'll definitely some play a, fa a musical fanfare for happen. you. That for sure is happening. I have yeah. that ready. <laughs> Oh, the, here, look, I finally got to the... the, the oh, the somebody said that the sound effects are very loud. They're very loud? Thank you. Good to know. Take that. <laughs> I'll turn it down some. All right. Let me know how this yeah, Marcus is. Marcus says he can't hear you. And Marcus I think it's David, you're so. in room, John, because I can hear it over your mic. Is it? I can turn it down Yeah, actually, yeah, I can't too. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. Cool. Marcus yeah. is in the house. Good to see you, Marcus. Hey, Marcus. Marcus. Welcome. Rachel Fisher just joined in. Hello, Rachel. All right. So hey, Rachel. That's Balloon Fight. Anybody want to see Balloon Fight again? I think we've seen Balloon Fight. Oh, you know what I want to see on all of them? I want to see what the clock looks like. If I oh, can geez. figure out how to do that. Well, just, it's, <laughs> it's just different because they all had it. They had a clock. Yeah, yep. the clock. That's the most critical point. Oh, Vicky threw 499 in there. Thank wow. You, Vicky. Thank you, Vicky. Okay, we like Vicky now. Uh-oh. That gets processed. We'll see the little pop-up. Mm-hmm. Oh my! So uh, I I, w I don't really understand what you're doing in this balloon game, to be quite honest. But just okay. making your way to the left. Yeah, there's not that much to be had with it. We're gonna move on to the next one because there are so many to look at. Play the ones that you really enjoy. Oh my goodness! He took it. I have two ticks off of me now. Wow! This one is easy to understand. It's Lasson and Fashion is in the house. Good to see you guys. Hey Huey. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Size this a little bit, make it fit. Yeah, because each one of the games is a little bit slightly different size, as you can imagine. I'm just tweaking the layout just a smidgen. But this next one, Blackjack. David, I don't think you can get this on the PS5. This is strictly something that's inside of MAME, mm -hmm. the multi-arcade machine emulator. So if you have any PCs or Raspberry Pis or anything like that that you can run MAME on, you can definitely get these ROMs mm -hmm. and play all of these games. All right. So oh, I Charlie had an interesting idea. He said they should make a Mario Party game where the mini games are alterations of classic game and watches. There you go. Oh, I doubled down. Look cool. at that. Oh, I doubled down and it worked. I made money. Minor Tom says that looks like a DS. You are correct, sir. That is exactly where they got the idea for the. That's shape right. Of the yep. <laughs> looks like looks like I have a, 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 a looks like. A, one of the cells of my LCD is burned out. How could that be an emulation? That's dumb. Like the middle of the, the middle of the three is weird. Uh, maybe that's just the 
Oh, there. Now that's yeah. that three word. Maybe, maybe it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you, what do you th- So, George, how do you play blackjack? Should I hit on a six or what do you think? Uh, dealer is 16. You should split. What? I should. Uh, threes? I, yeah. I don't know how to. Yeah. Split. You should split Can anything I, with dealer is 16 that you have a pair. Do I have split here? I split. They don't offer double, split. Uh, double down. They don't offer split. Double down. All yeah. right. I'll double down. Do that because they're likely to bust. That's the theory. Ah. If they have a 10 behind, they're okay, likely to bust. Like and they did. Down. Oh, right you were. So you got you double your amount. See there? And that's why we have like George on the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I knew Just there was a reason. <laughs> there had to be a reason. <laughs> uh, why is it flashing double down? I don't think I want to do that, do I? On six. It's giving you that option every uh, time because right. you always have So I'm going to stand uh, on 17. You're on a 16. 13. 16. Yeah, 16. You're on 16. I would have probably hit. Yeah, you were right. I should have. <laughs> This is a respectable little blackjack game. I mean, it's it's, mm-hmm. it's blackjack. It's exciting. I mean, oh yeah, it's great. Are you, oh, they're shuffling. Oh, so it's a single deck, and they let me know they were shuffling. If you're counting cards, that's wow. interesting. <laughs> so I have a thirteen there. Thirteen versus a fourteen. That's a stand usually. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm gonna take your word for Depends it. On the bets. There you go. Look at that. T2 said hit would have busted you anyways. Yeah, since the deck was stacked. That's assuming that the game is like playing. That actually has a stacked deck. Yeah, I would think so. Yeah. <laughs> Rachel, we're not doing bean stunts tonight. We are doing stream boss. So you're trying to become the boss of the stream, at which time we'll play a fanfare. You will become the boss. <sighs> the only thing I wish about the stream boss was I wish that stayed up on the screen the whole time instead um, of just when the donations come up. It's almost like there's a setting for that. <laughs> It's almost. <laughs> you know, you know. It's funny. You should request such a thing. <laughs> uh, Minor Tom is asking about collection tips for the DS. Um, I don't really collect cartridges of any system. If I did, it would be the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, obviously, uh, for me. But I would think your best bet would be look in your local area mm-hmm. at your goodwills and your salvation armies and your um yard there's sales there's and their stores swap meets. What, yeah swap meets those kind of things um and then in the rare instances where you can't find stuff there then i would start looking on ebay only as a last resort because of course everything's going to be triple or quadruple what you would find it in your hometown Matter of fact, I went to uh, the local flea market here, the one on Beach Boulevard, John. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's one guy there that had quite a few, like, had a pretty good sized game collection. Nothing really caught my eye. Oh, but... yeah. Yeah, there's a guy there with tons of stuff. Yep. You know, you should. And then also your local places like you have, John, that your daughter works at, right? Yeah. Those might not be oh, yeah. game stores. Yeah. It's mm-hmm. funny that, like, the really old stuff, like Atari and Coleco and Sega, that's almost like becoming not, like, pre retro now. Now it's the N64 and Nintendo has become retro. And that's really what's nostalgic. A lot of places are stopping to carry and carrying those things, which means if they have it, they probably are selling it for dirt cheap. The oldest stuff because it's Marcus says it's big demon boomers. Nobody says swap meat anymore. <laughs> damn. Wow. Uh, Vicky says, Oh, so we can't stomach beans tonight. We just decided to take a break from it. Vicky, we've done them so often and we felt like it was we don't wanna, we don't running wanna, its course. We don't exhaust you. Yeah. So I'm not certain. Vicky's like, this is my first time. I want to see beans. <laughs> I'm not certain what's happening in this game. If, if we get stuck, I actually have the instructions we can pull up. But this one, like, has m- it's much more attractive. Like, there's a stuff's going on up top. Bomb sweeper John, is the name of it. Do you read instructions? No, not unless I absolutely have to. So this one looks like I run this little maze. I'm on the bottom running this little man around. By the way, I'm hoping the audio balance is better now, possibly. Somebody will let me know. So now, oh, I can move the little walls. Look at that. <laughs> Somebody said, uh, Duag said, uh, swap meet has a whole other meaning these days. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think there. I want to know that meaning. Yeah, me, me neither. I'm with you. <laughs> I'm like totally happy not knowing what that is. So is there I mean, I was, I was not barely on board with John dictionary. playing with his balls. I'm not sure. <laughs> So it looks like the... so it looks like you're mazing this game. You're just running around trying to. But you change the maze. See, I can move stuff around. Uh, oh. Uh... Are you trying to pop out of one of those two holes at the top and hope the cop doesn't catch you? As far as I can tell, I've just been trying to make my way to the bomb. So now there's two bombs. So I need to figure out how to get to that bomb. And like, I have no well, idea how to do it. You can change the maze, can't you? Just well, but I, you, you, you can only push the maze where there's not already a maze piece in the way. Uh... 
So for example, like I can't push that one to the right because there's already one over there, right? See what okay. I mean? So gotcha. I have to go. Oh no! Oh no! See now I'm stuck. Oh, I get that one to the right. Oh, you just have to get one of them. Yes. Now this is starting to get interesting. And so, is that score, and then it's switching over to a countdown timer? I guess. I think it's a countdown timer already. Right now, it's a countdown timer. Yeah, but when you hit the bomb, mm -hmm. and the then time I saw left it was like 190. Looks like it's added to my score, and then it goes back okay. to, back to a timer. Yep. Well, they make uh, good good use of limited like screen real estate and stuff. I think that's pretty impressive. David's saying that the game looks blurry. Uh, David, that might be your um, your internet provider. Maybe do a refresh of the stream. You might. Uh, and make sure you're actually watching it in 1080. Oh yeah, at the bottom, what is it? Um, little gear, settings I think? on the bottom right yeah. corner, the little gear thing. Ooh, you I'm click not... that, and you can look at playback uh, speed and quality. I don't know how to get down there. I mean, I can move that down, but now I can't get to the bomb. Oh no! Oh, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, I'm dead. Uh -huh. Oh, and look. A little smoke. The top, the little, a little smoke coming <laughs> out of the top. Marcus said the game could be a little bit quieter, but it's better. Sure. Yeah, no problem. Thank you, Marcus. That's easy to do. So there's the bomb. So we've got to figure out how to... So I do that. Oh, I've screwed it up again. Well, for being the first time I played this, I did okay for about three levels, and now I'm... Absolutely ignorant. Oh, look, my name is John Solver. I'm the bomb technician. So, Greg Great Trick Stark says, Hello, George, John, and Mo. Hey, John, a few months ago, you told me that you didn't care for Game & Watch. You guys didn't want to give John guess with the beans. So, I think those are two separate uh, statements. But is. I guess you told him that you didn't like Game & Watch? Um, that, that, quite possible. I have almost zero exposure to it. So I have neither, like, I don't have hatred for it. I just had no experience with it whatsoever. Um, so if I told you I hated it, uh, I, I hope I didn't say that, but, uh, I definitely didn't know anything about them and I hadn't really played them. Oh, so they were asking about the new Nintendo Game & Watch, and I said it's not something I typically played with before. I remember talking about uh, this. Because okay. there was that brand new one that came out, remember? Yes, yep. Oh, now there's a big open maze. Something else is happening now. Oh, it's moving! I gotta keep oh. up, see, before I get pinned. Well, that's interesting. They're doing a lot more with the bottom screen now than... I imagine that's a progression of the technology, mm -hmm. right? This game had to come out later yep. compared to some of the other games when they first started this. Now, if I was real clever, I would have done this chronologically, but I'm not that clever. I'm doing it alphabetically. <laughs> <laughs> so they're, they're whatever order they're in in the alphabet. George knows how that works, don't you, George? Yes, I do. I've had my oh, share of alphabet gaming. Yes, you have. <laughs> uh, Mike B says, I have the new one. It's good to play some Super Mario Brothers on the fly. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. yeah the new one's cool. All right, so let's, I want to see the, so let's see, uh, I want all the, is it that one? No, that's the clock. I want to see all of the uh, little tiles lit up. I forget I do that. I want to mention, um, in case anybody who's in the stream isn't necessarily in the Discord channel that often, we have a new feature in there that John just created a little oh, while yeah. ago. Mm -hmm. um, in our live channels, John found a bot and programmed the bot to pilfer his Plex cartoon library. <laughs> so we now have... Uh, Gen X era cartoons streaming 24 hours a day on our Discord channel. So for anybody who likes stuff like Hong Kong Fooey or Thunder the Barbarian or uh, some of the old classic Bugs cartoons or any of that kind of stuff, you guys can jump into our Discord server at genxgrownup.com slash Discord and you can go into the live events channel anytime you like, and that bot is streaming all the time. Right now, it's streaming Fred Flintstone. George, <laughs> did you see I just added some Garfield for you? I did not see that. Yep. I wasn't a big fan of the Garfield cartoons, though. Oh, no? So, oh, well, it was, yeah. a, it was a miss. I tried. I saw Garfield was out there. I'm like, oh, this is for George. Yeah, I put a couple seasons in rotation. They'll come through. So, uh, and, and, and we... See Fawful just joined, by the way. Hey, what's up? Hey, Fawful, how you doing? So this one is called Chef, 
And this one is, it has an alarm, so it was one of the kind of the second wave a little bit. And you'll find that a few of these games we're going to play, there are a couple versions. There's a widescreen, a panoramic, and some different ones. And some that even look kind of like a Coleco. John? You see. Yeah, what's up? Sorry, but we have somebody who has to go, so you need to tell them the oh, rule yep. about leaving the live stream. Listen, guess, when you have to go, we understand you got stuff to do, you can't sit in the live stream all day, you need to tell us the fictional reason why you have to leave the stream. It's got has to, to be a lie of epic proportions. Right. The, the it, more it, fictional, the better. Entertain us with the ludicrous reason you've got to leave the stream. We'll do it at the end of the stream, but as you leave, please tell us the crazy reason you've got to go. All right, so this is Chef. So keep an eye. Hopefully, Dave will let us know. This must have been the game that taught Gordon Ramsay how to become a chef. So look at, so there's a little, I see a little mice, and I see the cat with trying to catch... Oh, he's got different I'm just than sausages. At his expressions and flipping the stuff around. It looks like Gordon Ramsay yelling and screaming all over the place <laughs> in the kitchen. People cows. All right, <laughs> let's check it out. Game one. Uh, Mike B wants to know if we have any wacky races. Oh, good. If good it was one. a Game and Watch, we should have it. <laughs> well, has the the cartoon, right? he's I think cartoon. he's asking about the cartoon. Oh, for the cartoon, right? Yeah. Working on it. Yep, it's on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know the original yeah. Wacky Races was only one season, but they're like thirty-four episodes. 34 and awesome episodes. Awesome episodes. And there was a 2017 one that I, I have not gone to look at. I don't know if it's oh, any really? good. Oh, really? Yeah. You I, know, there's one that I haven't seen in there, John, that I don't know how we don't already have it. What's that? Laugh Olympics. Don't have it yet? Yeah. Yeah. I take <laughs> I take requests. This one is no joke, actually. That cat is a piece of crap. That, oh, oh, and the mouse, wow. the mouse came and got it. <laughs> See that Minor Tom may have just uh, ruined his GFG card. He says, I have to go because this is stupid, and I will be back in a second. Oh, my. But it was a lie. That was a lie, so it's okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> this game is no joke. Like, it gets, it gets hard right away. Reminds me of... Uh, Basically, he's like juggling, right? Yeah. What was the little clown game in the arcade with the trackball where you had to catch the balloons? It was... Uh, Mm, damn it. Pop, kick something, kick something or other. Something kick. Yeah, he had the pin on his head, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, so and either it popped the, the balloons or sometimes it caught the yep. balloons. Or catch them. Yep. The yep. Yes. Minor uh, Tom's is catch. The, oh, catch the pigeon now. I get it. This some cartoon. Yes. Okay. Why? I don't like to play the B level. This is difficult. <laughs> Man, gee whiz! <laughs> no, the, the fish, the, the pork chop, the sausages, the fish. Yeah, that cat is a real asshole. He's a he's a garbage cat. Oh god! Oh, the, oh, the rat mouse. Got your sausage. Easy now. <laughs> Where, oh, somebody let the cat in. Where's this going? Circus, All right. T two. Yes, with the seesaw. Uh, no, it's so that's a different game. Yeah. Okay. I remember that one that T2's talking about. All right. Let's see. So I think this one might be a couple of versions. Let's see. So, no, no, just one. All right. So the next one we have is called Climber, which looks suspiciously similar to the Balloon Fight one, actually. But uh, I think we're going to see a lot of that. Yeah, maybe so. Yeah. So, like, there's. I like to. Where's the thing that shows all the. So, just like curious, do you have to know how well these things sold? They were a big deal. I know that. I mean, I, I don't know, like, numbers or anything, but... I know they were the thing that drove Nintendo to its first super profitable gaming year, um, especially in Europe. And I only know that from a documentary that I watched on Netflix or something like that, where there was a guy oh, in ow. Sweden or Denmark or something that... that he went to Nintendo, talked him into letting him do the licensing or the shipping or whatever to bring them over into Europe and that's when they really took off was when he brought them over into Europe so especially England and France and places like that but I don't remember him giving us given too many sales statistics in the documentary hmm. I don't is this like a just you sort of a climber feel yeah I'm working my way up so when I jump I'm now see everything is scrolling oh, up vertically yeah Oh, oh, oh I fell. Great bricks on top of you. Yeah. Ah, ah, Man, apparently that's how high I was. Wow. Kickman is T2 talking about, uh, was on the C64. He remembers that. Just gonna watch out for this bird. 
Greg Snark says, I even have Alf on the DVD, the TV show. Have you guys seen that? Yes. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. I was a big Alf fan, personally, but, you know. Ah! Uh, I think Alphas. I had a hand puppet that somebody gave me at one point oh, of Alf. That has another meaning now, too. Right? <laughs> you people. <laughs> uh, Serge Sergiosius says, Hello, do you guys know about Soviet GW clones called Electronica? They were also oh. quite popular. Wow. Yeah, Game of Watch sounds clones, yeah. Oh, well, no. Makes me, makes me want to go find out what those are. I'm actually gaining that points was, uh, for dying. That was probably a, a much more prevalent thing back during the early days of electronics, right? Where the mm -hmm. knockoffs and stuff, because yep. it wasn't like somebody would f drive over or fly over to Russia from China and check to make sure their property wasn't being stolen or something. They definitely did drive over. You're right about that. That's true. <laughs> you just... They could have. Well, like, if they had, like, James Bond's underwater car, yes. That's true. Why? <laughs> They're on the same continent? Oh, no, not from here. You couldn't drive from here to, to Russia, yes. No, China. Oh, from China. Okay, yes. Absolutely. You could. <laughs> All right. I didn't know we were. I didn't know we were starting in China. I didn't say. I didn't see the Google Maps of your trip. I was unclear. <laughs> well, because, well, I guess it was Japan. I guess is where this came from. Not China. Yeah, you can't drive from there either. <laughs> <laughs> I just. I'm such. I have no idea about geography. You could tell me that we could, and I'd say okay. <laughs> ah! All right. I think uh, Minor Tom S was the documentary high score. No, don't think it was high score. Mm. I can't remember what it was. I wish I could. I should have prepared for this live stream, so that's, but I didn't. You did fine. <laughs> so that one is Climber. All right. So let's see where we're at. So next up is Crab, crab Grab. Now this one, I don't understand. But that's not going to stop me from trying to play it. So let's get Crab Grab ready. So this one was a vertical. Here we go. There it is. Wow. Grab. I didn't even know that was a format of theirs. Grab crab. So it has up, down, left, right. And it had a it had a clock and everything. So okay. I wonder if the dimensions are the same as the horizontals, but just stood on the vertical. Let me see. I don't think so. <laughs> if I rotate because my head, no. They had to have some kind of common manufacturing process to make these things worth it to produce in a different format. Mm-hmm. Now, I have run into more than one of this format, so maybe they just toyed with a couple of different ones. Mm. All right, so I watched the demo of the clock here, and it looks like I have tried this one once, but it doesn't make a lot of sense. But what I do know is I go and yell at the crabs, and they go to the bottom. Yell at the crabs. Yeah, but I don't know what that's doing for me. And now... Well, you got a timer counting down up there. Oh, I do. Can I... Maybe you have to get them all down to the bottom. That could, like that, that could. Oh, I did something. Yay, I won something. I don't know what I did. Now Just I do push have. Push them all away. Yeah, I pushed them all down. So I do have instructions we could look at if it, if it comes to that. That's an extreme case. It would case be there. difficult on those to move from one to the other mm -hmm. because of how tall they are from yep. the bottom. Yep. I bet maybe you can only you can't have any at the top line. Oh, maybe yep. so. I think you're right. You just have to have none up there. Look at there. See, blackjack is not your only contribution. I knew that. <laughs> I knew they would come in handy. I, yeah, I think I think you're right. You just got to get them. Nobody up top. Yep. Blast and Stash says ball sausage and now crabs. What kind of live stream are you doing here? <laughs> oh look, I'm, I'm, we, also, we, we ask that question ourselves every day. <laughs> yeah, I kind of pinned myself in the corner, but I was able to sneak out. Oh, that, okay, that's interesting. I get it now. Yeah, I think you were spot on, George. You just have to have nobody up top. Yep, and I won. All right, this one's okay. What's weird is it didn't have a D-pad. You see how it had a left, right, and up, down separately? That's weird. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Now, see, I definitely messed myself up. See that? I can't get out. That's not going to go well. Miss Sosa reminds her a bit of Tetris. Weird. It's weird. So you'd like you'd need to leave a gap to sneak out like that, I think. Don't try to do all of them at once. Send some down. Send a few more down. Now, I could, I could get, as rudimentary as these are, I can get how cool they would have been. Uh, Fitty1 is asking if he missed the beans. Um, no, Fitty1, you did not miss the beans. We're not doing those on this stream. We're doing a stream boss. If you notice in the upper left-hand corner of the stream, 
there is a hit meter counter. Every time there's a donation made to the stream, that goes down, and whoever knocks off the last hit points of that counter will become the stream boss themselves and will theoretically win some kind of embellishment <laughs> or prize. Theoretically. Or... Ostensibly. I'm not to anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, next up, a tried and true classic, the Donkey Kong Game & Watch. Now, George, we were hanging out the other day, and you saw me mm-hmm. play this. This is a pretty cool game. It is. It's inspired by Donkey Kong. It's definitely not Donkey Kong. Mm-hmm. Yep. But it, it had some interesting mechanics. So, like yeah. you had told me, you can only jump in those spaces where the thick girders are not. Right. Yep. And then there are other girders that are swinging around. The barrels themselves never come down ladders. They only drop down at the end of a walking girder. That's right. Mm-hmm. And when you get up to the top level, you have to flip on a switch for that crane that's on the second top screen. You have to jump over to that crane that you've turned on. Mm-hmm. And then when you successfully do that, you grab one of the four hooks that are holding up Donkey Kong's beam. Yep. And then he'll fall. All right. Simple. I'm really right. <laughs> a child could do it. In fact, a child did it. I'm sure many times. Rachel took off some more hit points there. Oh, did count. she? Look at that. Oh, she did with the dollar ninety nine. Thank you, Rachel. So, uh, Meyer Tom was asking that you know, know that you, he knows that you're giving away the Atari Pi. He's uh-huh. like, "Well, why would you give away such an awesome thing?" Why would I give away an awesome thing? Well, first, because I love the people who participate in Gen X Grown Up, and I want to give back to those people. And two, because I, I don't need yet another thing to do emulation on. It's intriguing, and I want to play with it, but I don't necessarily need another thing plugged into another HDMI uh, input on my TV because I had all those games already on my computer. So, thank you, Mike B. Oh, you're chipping away at the boss. We're still the boss for now, though. <laughs> See how long that lasts. You can always count on Mike B to help us out. Thank you, man. So, yeah. And Donkey Kong, always, he's right there with those barrels. Like, he doesn't want me to get to it. Like, I almost could have made that one, but I didn't. Oh, oh, ow! And I over... I overestimate how fast the barrels are going to move, and I usually walk into it. <laughs> so I got one of the... Was it four little keys you have to get, or locks, or whatever they are, George? They look like little cowboy boots. I can't tell what they are, but... I, don't know what they are. I love it when our, like, our listeners like talk to each other, because like, Miss O's asking Rachel what games does she like on her Switch. <laughs> Oh, look at Vicky gave us another five bucks. Wow. Oh, thank Vicky, you. thank you. Oh, no. That's so nice. Donkey Kong, quit that. All right, got another one. Got the second one. That's all right. Oh, now it's speeding up. Look at that. I definitely have to knock Donkey Kong off of his... Uh... He's the stream boss right now. i got to knock him off his little pedestal. Jump. Jump. All right. So I got to wait for Donkey Kong to quit throwing barrels at me. And I can run up. Okay. Throw the switch. And wait for it. Of course, he's going to come over and try to. Got it. Ooh, the last second. Look at that. Mmm. It's weird, though, because like because of the fact that it's um, static's not really the right word. But, you know, the, the graphics only have so many places to go, mm-hmm. you know. That it's still fun to play. It's definitely you know, that, fun. I if I said at one point the game and watch I didn't like it, it really had to do with ignorance. I just had never really played it. I didn't know really what it had to offer. I just thought it was a calculator game, really. <laughs> oh, there he goes, squash. Oh, and then right away. Let's see what the the B game looks like. I have to die first. That should not be a problem. There's one death. I have one more life. Die. There we go. All right. So the B game. Oh, there's a lot more of those low hanging girders. See on that second level, that girder that comes across, it's already in the way. I wonder if this was like easy to come up with. Oh, these ouch. Ideas, I or, fell right off. 
Or is it one of these things they just like, eh, throw, you know, throw it against the wall, we'll see what sticks, because they're cheap to make. <laughs> I think there was a lot of, in my opinion, what I've seen so far, there was a lot of thought went into, ouch, went into the design, because it's so limiting. You know, you have to find, as George was saying, though, get X number of frames of animation, and you have to accomplish the, the illusion of movement, feel like you're doing something. Now, maybe ball was not awesome, but... <laughs> oh, dang it. And I'm dead. I like that. Okay, ball, not awesome. Right, maybe but... that one wasn't in the criteria, but... All right, so after Donkey Kong, let's move on and try... I think Donkey Kong Jr. is next. Devil Waldo just joined. Evening. Hey, hey welcome. You. Hey, so let's see. They actually call it Donkey Kong 2, but here we go. There it is. Now, what do you guys think of how they've done this in MAME with the, the photorealistic image of the, the game? Oh, I, love, I think it's awesome. I think it looks, I mean, because if they did have that around it, I think it would be silly in a way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, like you could turn I it think... off. So let me turn that off. Let me turn off the video options. I think you can just... Uh... I don't even know if I can do it somewhere screen standard here we go there you go <laughs> it's yay like, eh. <laughs> who cares yeah, but exactly. it, it actually makes it like pretty and playable you know yeah okay plus it does give you that feel like the original you know mm -hmm. I was see Rachel talking about Stardew Valley my daughter loved she must have played through Stardew Valley three times they added an extension an expansion to it and it's uh, was it was it us in the I think a previous stream we were talking about Stardew Valley, weren't we? It's because I said it's kind of yeah. like um, now I can't re we figured it out last time and I can't remember. It's kind of like not Harvest Moon. What's the Nintendo game where you go to Tom Nooks and you you get bells and somebody will tell me in the chat. I can't remember. Rachel, what's the what is it? <laughs> anyway? It's a lot like that where you're like. It's a social game with people in the town, and you meet people, and you marry someone. And Animal Animal Crossing. Yes, Animal Crossing. Animal Crossing. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Yeah, Waldo got me. All right. So let's yep. see how they did with too. Donkey Animal Kong Crossing. Jr. I have, I have not really tried this one. I don't know for sure. So I see a key down there. All right. So I've grabbed the key. So jumped over that thing. Oh, so the vines really play a part, because see, I have to... That tells me where I can go up. See the vines let me climb. Ah. Oh, so it's not just it's not just decoration. Nope. Oh, oh, there's a spark coming. And I guess that's a vine I have to climb up there, right? Yep. Yes. And now I'm up there. Whoa! There's a key as well. Whoa! Jump! <laughs> oh! So am I missing keys? I have the first Katie was key. saying that uh, the, even the graphics look like they did, like, it looks a little worn. Like, they don't look, like, pristine. Yeah, I think they did a good job of that. That's neat, yeah. Whoa, job. Hey, Donkey Kong 2 is Donkey Kong Jr. I don't, yeah. Yep. I just, sorry, I'm back. I had a work call. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, go, no. <laughs> a new game and watch. <laughs> yeah. Work is bugging you. Sorry about that. Uh, it's not a big deal. You know, there's, uh, there's state agencies here in Florida, and by God, when they need backups, they need them now. When you're when you're the man, you're the man. What can we say, George? Apparently, <laughs> you're like, yeah. Let me know when I become the man. I'll tell you how it right. goes. Because <laughs> then apparently I can tell them no. <laughs> right. Wow, look at that meter. It's already down. What, like four bars? Jeez, I missed a lot. <laughs> it's down to under. Rachel like, contributed. Wow, we're almost under 1800 hit points oh my you should have given us more john to start with i think this is not going to go well for us well for john just oh for... is it just john you know... <laughs> so, oh I, I did one lock oh i have to go back for the key look at that oh so Damn. that's how they that's how they added the complexity you can't just go to the top and win you have to go back and get the next key uh, Devil Waldo is asking if we own any physical Game & Watches. I, I definitely don't. Mm -mm. I don't think no. it's on or remote do either, right? I don't, no. no. I kind of want a whole bunch of them now, though. There are a couple. Now, I played a few of them, not all, in preparing for this, just to kind of make sure things would work. And there are some ones that I really would like to own. Oh, I guess pay attention to what's up there. That I would like to have. They're really, oh, really? neat. Yeah, there are a couple that... 
you know, it's like a simple phone game, really. But that that that's that's not derogatory. Sometimes simple phone games can be a lot of fun. Yeah. So Myra Tom is asking the crowd, um, "What's your first console you ever played?" And I really don't want to say mine. Why? Because, Why is that? Because it's so everyone exactly how old I am. Because it's, it was Pong. <laughs> Oh, yeah. well, you yeah. might have played it after it had been out for 10 years. You were kind of behind the times electronics. No, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> no. I think Pong was the first one I ever played. Oh, okay, good. So I don't feel so bad. I mean, I don't think I played it when it came out. Yep. So I don't think I was born. But. <laughs> <laughs> we had a one of our early, maybe our second or third backtrack. Oh, no, I'm stuck. Oh no! We talked about our first console, and we kind of we told our story of how we yeah how we got our Atari or whatever. Mm-hmm. This yeah, is that Punk wasn't the first one I owned. Mm-hmm. That was like at somebody else's house. They had it set up in one of the basement TV type of things. But now I like this one, but I'm not, I'm not joking. It's kind of difficult. Uh, let's see, Vicky Pong for her as well. Rachel oh, says you, original Vicky. Game Boy. Yeah, I know. I know uh, that's true because I yeah. bought it for. It. Work my way back. Fitty One says Coleco Telstar Arcade. Oh wow! Yep, wow. that goes back a ways. Go Telstar. Telstar nearly bankrupted Coleco. Mm-hmm. We were talking really? about that. Really? Was that on this last podcast that's coming out uh, on Thursday? We were talking the, about I that. Don't so. I don't think so. Uh, yeah, it was because we talked about the Coleco tabletops. I think. I believe that was the same one. Yeah. I just remember it was Great topical. Uh, yeah, it was maybe when we were also talking about what Coleco stands for, which to me always gets a chuckle. It stands yeah. for, what it was, Connecticut or Colorado? Did we ever agree on Connecticut. that? Connecticut. Connecticut, yep. Connecticut Leather Company. Yep. Yeah. Nothing to do with electronics whatsoever. I'll tell you that. I, I'm still always depressed that company that could pivot like that. <laughs> it's like, oh, wait, saddles are out. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going to make next? Yeah. Saddles. <laughs> And it tells you, so you, these keys will only unlock one. You got to pick the, the right one. This is the furthest I've done. I have one more to get. I want to get through at least one screen before people call me a gaming noob. Let's see, Greg, Great Tricks. No, I'm just going to call you Greg. <laughs> Greg the Trick Snake, yes. something, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, what games are you working for getting? Could you, could you rephrase that? I'm not sure I follow what the question is there. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing, Mo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's an interesting question in there. I just want to be sure I understand. Oh, uh, Blast and Station says, I drove my cousin crazy because he had a 2600 and I wanted to play it every time I was over to his house. Well, that's just poor planning on his part if he didn't want that to happen. He shouldn't have had one. Because <laughs> if you had an Atari 2600, one of the main points of that was for people to come over to your house no. and you play it together. You know, if he didn't want to share, screw that guy. That's what I said. Mm-hmm. I got him. Yeah, I had a good friend that had a 2600. And he was grateful. You know, we had a great time going to his house and playing. We played some 2600. We'd do some Dungeons & Dragons. Go back 2600. All right. Minor Tom says he was four when he started gaming. He's nearly 17 now. Yeah, I think that's that's very telling, right? Our generation obviously didn't start with video games of any kind. It was, Mm -hmm. you know, much later that they became popular enough that we all saw them in arcades and then in homes. Um, so we were probably anywhere from 10 or 12 up to like 15 or 16 before most of us even mm. had an opportunity to play electronic games. So Minor Tom being part of this generation, he's known a world that's known nothing but video games. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Never missed like it. Always connected, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So this is funny. This one is actually called Donkey Kong Jr. Oh. Oh, wow. But, the... but it's a looks like a different mechanic and it's a single point yeah a single point of screen wow yeah we set the clock i don't think i need to set the clock that's all right <laughs> john's finally given up on setting that's up okay clock. i'll let it go <laughs> all right no john it's wrong so <laughs> it says 10 a.m are you sure <laughs> well you definitely have the little bear trap guys yeah oh Whoa. but no where's your vines to climb on the green oh, oh the green things are vines they are, are aggressive can i get up no, there yeah only LCD yeah. Stuff. oh is it okay yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's it's only the LCD really stuff, but okay so jumping is not terribly effective you're really the vines are what you're looking at to save your butt it looks like so all right i wonder if those green elements are actually lcd elements oh, or if them. they were no they're not painted no. On the screen. i think they're just painted De- on the, yeah, the screen definitely not. oh he just fell. <laughs> I, oh, now I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. 
Mike Bean says you don't get any vines if you don't set the clock. <laughs> Damn it. I knew I should have set the clock. He's like, darn. John's like, I knew there was a reason. What's That's that it. little, is that an apple you can it do is. something yeah, with? It is. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to knock it on this guy's head. Ha ha. Oh. But what okay. I don't, it's I don't know what to fast. do next. Maybe I have to catch that key up top. You got to go over there, yeah. Maybe I have to go up. I don't up? know how you get there. I can't go up here. Can you climb up that chain on the left side? Well, when I step over there, I fall. Oh, there's no nothing for you to stand on. Can you jump over there? I'm going to I'm going to try. That's that's next. Coming up next on Donkey Kong Jr., can I jump? Didn't you say you had the instructions that you could pull I do, up if you I do. I do have the instructions. Yeah. If 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 it, yeah, if, it, no, if, it, if, it if it comes to it. I think it's come to it. You think so? <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's let's kill this Donkey Kong, and then we'll knock one more thing. Cheat the oh. way they did it. All right, let's and see. When they come that close together, you got no jumping doesn't work. Yeah, and and jumping didn't do anything there. You can't yeah, jump. You can't jump. You motion. can't jump at an angle. Yeah, you can only. Well, you don't jump vertically. Jump. Oh goodness, he's dead. Okay, maybe it is time for instructions. Let's see if I can find the instructions for Donkey Kong <laughs> Junior. Uh, let's see in here. Donkey Kong Jr. All right, so let's see if I can pull this up. Miss So said her first consoles were arcade games, then Atari. Yeah, that's pretty much where a lot of us were from that generation, Miss So. I so think. here's our instructions. So we have those. So let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, we know how that works. Insert <laughs> the batteries, blah, blah, blah. How to play. Press to make Jr. climb the trunk. Yada, yada, yada. Move Jr. left and right. Okay. Press A or B. When you invade the snap jaw. Yeah, 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 okay. When the game starts or opens a lock after a miss, Junior appears on the lower left of the screen. When the jump button's pressed, he's under a vine. When he comes close, you can jump. Yeah, we, so, so far so good. Oh, so here's the key up here. Avoiding attacking snap jaws and birds, Junior runs along the upper trunk to the left. I run up? Oh, I haven't even gotten to birds yet. Playing on a Commodore 64. But there's the key. There's the key we were talking about. Commodore 64 was a great gaming platform. You have, yeah. you have and, to, and, it was, and it was a computer. I mean, you could do computer And stuff it says you, you have to time the jump to the swinging key. But there was one more screen that said something interesting here. Is it shows him leaping for that key. So right mm -hmm. after the apple, it says the fruit hits the snap jaw, jumping and climbing, and avoiding attacking snap jaws and birds. Junior runs along the upper trunk to the left. Okay. So it sounds like I should know what I'm talking about. So let's let's try it again. The upper trunk to the left. Up here somewhere? I don't know. But it had that key like it was above Donkey Kong Jr.'s head. Yeah. In that image. And that doesn't appear to be possible here. Yeah. Well, maybe I have to Maybe I have to get it, not like Donkey Kong, the first one, but I'm wondering if I have to... Go back oh. to that double-leafed, that double-leafed vine. Okay. See if it goes up any further. Yeah, maybe it does, because there's a... And there's a well, you vine. know what we could there's do? We could right look here. and see where he could possibly be. Look. Oh, there's where he can catch the key. There's where he can catch the key, apparently. You have to catch it at that when the key's in that angle. At that like position. Yep, it has one. to be down. All right. See. Fitty took some hit points off for 99 cents. All right, hey, Fitty, Fitty won. Uh-oh, it's getting worse. Or better, <laughs> or better, depending on your point of view, right? <laughs> depending on how you look at it. Oh, here's a bird. Oh, my goodness. Was he here before? Maybe I pushed game B. I don't know. The blast of stash was somehow he worked in a restaurant that had a little arcade and they would close up and let his friends come play. That's awesome. You're a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think one of my favorite times when I was younger. Oh, oh, I almost oh, did it. You I almost did jump it. at the angle yep, there. Yep, I almost yeah. did it, though. All right. I loved working in an arcade, and the best part about that was when we I would mean, close and have just four or five of us that worked there or friends of ours, and we would all just hang out and yep. play games till 2 o'clock in the morning. Was it having that giant quarter dispenser on your belt? Ah, dang it. <laughs> we didn't have one of those. Oh, really? Enough, no. <laughs> did, did you really work in an arcade? I did. That was really disappointing <laughs> for me that we didn't have one of those ka -junk, ka junk little coin things. Because they just had the giant brown box, you know, right. that spit out uh, tokens. But yeah. I got, it. I got it. Oh. I got it. I got it. Oh, but it only took one quarter of oh, the Oh, man. Do it again. All right. Well, at least now I know what I'm doing. 
I don't do Spider it, Tom do says if well. he won the lottery, he would make a retro arcade. Sir, I'm right there with you, but I wouldn't allow anybody to play in it. <laughs> all, George, all George all the time. That's right. I would be in there forever, probably. You know what you remind me of, George, when you said that? Did you ever see mm-hmm. Did you ever see an episode of South Park called Cartman Land? No. Was that, <laughs> did he have the amusement park? I he think he bought an amusement it. park, and he's like, and nobody gets to come into it. Oh, I missed. And then, and then and then a ride broke down. And he's like, well, fix it. He's like, I'm a security guard. I don't fix it. He's like, well, I can't afford to, to, somebody to fix it. He's like, okay, let two people in a day and use their salary to do And then the people came in and they wanted concessions. Well, if you hire three, let three more people in a day. And so eventually he just opened the amusement park to pay for all the things he wanted to do. <laughs> and he was so mad that he wasn't all by himself in the amusement park. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. uh, let's see. It looks like... Yeah, who is this? Michael Benowitz has a game and watch, and we're uh, gonna find out. No, which, which one? one he, what he, which one he had? We're gonna find out. Somebody asked him. Oh, so here's a different version of Donkey Kong Jr. This is, should be interesting. Oh, this is one of these. Wait till you see this. What? <laughs> so it might be a little harder to see, but I'm gonna try to put it in a position where you can, so you can see enough of it that it makes sense. Rachel Fisher says the Halloween podcast made me wary of arcades. Right. <laughs> Stay away from. It probably was. Yeah, let's crop a little that was a difficult off. scene. Okay, look at this thing now. So, oh wow! It look it looked like it. I've never seen one like this in the flesh. They call it the panorama screen, and it's color for one. And right. it's yet a different game than the other Donkey Kong Junior. Other two of them we played. Uh, Devil Waldo says, "Any interest in the new At Games pinball or the arcade One Up pinball machines?" Pinball? I don't know. I, like, I can't think of a like a single pinball that I'd want to play. Like the electronic ones. Those, are these like the electronic version ones. Like they this? are. So they're, they're yeah. super hyper realistic with the Virtual giant one. LCD screen oh, on the play bed, and really then the, cool. they are. And Arcade One Up has one that I maybe it's already out or it's coming out, but Ow. I know it was going to be fairly high, highly priced. But they were still doing it on that three quarter scale, no. which I'm like. <laughs> Okay, I'm six one. That doesn't work for me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, and I don't know how you do the riser on the pinball machine. Point. Ouch. So I'm... wow, Darren S says he has sixty seven Game and Watches. Who you? That... Or just seven? I'm not sure which one. He typed it in twice. Is that six or seven? <laughs> Maybe that. <laughs> but I think there are like eighty of them. So that's that's a that's a respectable collection. Mm-hmm. <laughs> These birds are not being cool. So I, I'm not sure what to do next. I, I think... Oh, that's cool! No, so, the bl- <laughs> so the balloon, that didn't help. I think I have to jump from the parachute to the balloon, maybe? How much the color makes a difference. It's really neat, yeah. I've never seen one of these in the wild at all. Devil Waldo says, Arcade 1-Up has Star Wars, Marvel, and Williams machines. They have a 24-inch screen play field. That's kind of small. Uh, Darren S. says it's 7, 67 eventually, but for right now it's just 7. Oh, Marcus threw $1.99 at the hit points. Thank you, Marcus. Uh, uh, Michael has the Super Mario Brothers Game & Watch. Is that the new one, then? Mm-hmm, that's the new one, yep. Okay. So I feel like I'm doing something. It's just not working. Like I'm flying over here and I'm kind of punching his little key. Uh, Devil Waldo says the At Games has a 32 inch playfield screen. Devil Waldo, if you could, I'm just curious, how much do they cost? If you know. I only go back for the key. That's my problem. Oh, so it did work. So I got to go back and get that key now. All right, now I get it. It's like the other ones where you have to keep working your way back and forth. Got it. You know, this doesn't even seem like... We were talking, recording the show the other day, how often you could quickly figure out the pattern and just rip your way through this. And I don't... Maybe you could eventually do that here, but it doesn't feel like it'd be that easy to just figure out the pattern of everything, you know? So I gotta get over there with another key... Okay, so Devil Waldo says the At Games is five ninety nine plus a hundred dollars shipping. Huh. So seven hundred bucks. Uh, Marcus says, or you could, you know, I mean, you could not suck. 
<laughs> what, what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> I guess about you, uh, pl you're playing prowess. Greg Gosh. Snark says his very first computer was a Texas Instruments TI 4A. TI 99 4A. Yeah, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. That's a cl old classic. Yeah. Uh, arcade one ups are 550 at GameStop or 599 at Best Buy with no shipping. You know, depending upon the height of the at games and the availability oh, to add more pinballs to it, I think I might be more willing to spend the extra hundred dollars mm -hmm. I, 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 I would agree with you yeah you know and if if i'm getting that expensive i almost would rather just go ahead and get one of those big ones yeah that are full size ones. honestly you know oh like it, we saw at sfg mm -hmm. right yep yeah the, those cost i mean you can build them yourself too i saw kits and stuff i was actually Ooh, cosplaying at one time and you, you'll drop you know 1500 easy yeah yeah yeah, and so Goodness. that I don't think I could justify that amount. I love pinball, but not fifteen hundred dollars worth. Mm -hmm. But seven hundred dollars, oh, yeah. it's it's that mental thing of not going over a thousand, right? Oh, so yeah. if I could keep it around the seven hundred dollar range, and I could nine ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, if I could have like two hundred different pinball games to play on one machine, and it was yeah. pretty physics accurate, mm -hmm. I'd probably be willing to do that. I wish I loved pinball more than I do, which might sound weird, but it, like you would think they're right there with arcade games. They were right next to everything I love. I just never gravitated toward them for some reason. I mean, my uh, brother Darren... really into them, so I might have been playing quite a bit. Oh, ouch. But, Ooh, ouch. but I was never like a, a hardcore, yeah. you know, pinball person. This is cool. Uh, Darren S. says he had a Coleco Atom. He wished he had kept it. Somebody asked him why, uh, oh, because pfft. it is a super rare computer yeah. and it basically destroyed coleco and i thought the atom was the extension to the coleco vision or was it it's somebody told me recently no. it's actually a standalone thing it's a standalone thing they did make an extension that would turn your coleco vision into an atom uh, i remembered that marketing uh, stuff yeah. yeah but the coleco atom was this thing that it came with it was a computer that had two cassette drives built into it but you couldn't add floppies or anything else to it it had a printer that came in oh the that's kit right as it had well. a printer it's productivity. And, oh, it's, it's good it's for school. Printer. It was like a thermal printer or something, wasn't it? <laughs> um, I don't like, remember. I think it was. No, I think it was a um, an impression dot matrix style. Not dot matrix, but the the little wheel. With oh, the little the wheel. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. T two um, and I were talking about that kind of printer the other day. Not a daisy wheel, but the, the like the had like the ball that had the letters printed yeah. all around it. Yeah. Oh, the um, electric. Now I know that in that documentary that I was watching about it, they were. Uh, or no, it wasn't a documentary. It was somebody's YouTube that was talking about it. Um, they were, they came, they were initially announcing them at a price that was lower than the comparable systems of the time. So that's why everybody was like, "Oh, this is going to be a great deal because you're getting the printer and the cassette drives built in for a smaller price than you just got the con the computer for everybody else." But then when they finally came to market, they marked up the price really high, so it made it not a good deal anymore and it had inferior parts to what was out at that oh point. oh t2 says he actually owned one. Oh wow yeah he said but it sucked uh it was my first computer it was mm -hmm. terrible it wasn't just a printer you had to have it hooked up or the computer didn't work yes oh the printer had cpu I mean, it in it <laughs> yeah <laughs> wow well it, it was part of the the hard wiring now i remember one other thing from the video it came with basic on a cassette. So, you know, you had to load the, <laughs> on a the cassette, cassette. Order to use, <laughs> in order to use basic. Here's the kicker, though. There was a flaw in the systems when they released them that if you had the cassette in the drive when you powered it on, the EMP from the power up erased the cassette. Ah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Where, how, so here's what how did you did know this? Did, did you, because I watched it in the video. Oh, okay, the video. You didn't have one. Okay. I'm like, Whoa. No, no, no. <laughs> but here's what they did to fix it. Would they add extra shielding, send out new Coleco atoms to the people who had the bad experience on the first ones? Nope. They sent them a sticker that said, please don't leave a cassette don't do in the this. drive when you power it up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, dummy, don't do this. Oh, no. So now we are absolved of all responsibility. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So this one feels, this is called Fire, by the way. It feels a lot like Ball. It, it's early. You can see it didn't have an alarm. Mm -hmm. And it's very rudimentary. Oh, no, this, one, 
I actually played this. You know, the more I see these, I'm like, these are like a memory. This one, you have to bounce the people into the ambulance, yeah. right? Did you have it, or you think you just like you knew somebody? No, I, I, my brother had one of these, and I played it. It looks very painful for that person jumping yeah, out yeah, of the jump. building, though, because yeah, no, good to baby. It's babies too. So they yeah. land on the ambulance roof and then go splat. That doesn't seem. No, no, it's open roof ambulance. <laughs> right. no, it's like the most convertible ambulance. <laughs> oh, but look, they turn into a little pile of poo at the end. No, that, right that's, per, that's oh. perspective. They're no, that's, that's the <laughs> alarm going off. That's the, the siren saying, oh, we saved you. <laughs> look, look at us trying to explain away a squished baby. <laughs> no, no, no. It can't be that. Yeah, see? It's like, I'm safe. And then the alarm goes, woo, we saved you. See? Uh, Charlie wants to know if we've ever watched The Wizard. You, the, the, you mean the, 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 the 90-minute Nintendo commercial? Yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. With the... Uh... What's his name? Uh, what the heck's his name? The 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 kid actor. I'm drawing a blank. Wonder Years kid. Oh, Fred oh, Savage. Fred Savage. Savage. Yep. Yeah, his his little brother was like a Rain Man video game player, and they were trying to oh, get him in, trying to get him across country to uh, to play in the Nintendo Championship. Oh, not Fred Savage's real life younger brother. The younger brother. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, the, yes, yeah, the character in the, in the movie. Yeah. Gotcha. I'm just flipping babies, doing great. <laughs> and where are all the parents that are throwing the babies out of the window? Well, they're dying in the fire. Th that's who's oh. tossing. They're tossing the babies, right? Look, they have clearly 400 babies, so they can't come out right now. It's an orphanage. You got to figure some of those are midgets. <laughs> they're not necessarily babies. <laughs> what? Because what? they can't have that many children. Some of them have to be little people. <laughs> Just... it, it could be. It could be an orphanage. <laughs> I mean, a midget have orphanage. You seen an orphanage with four stories? I, sure. If you I don't know. City, I don't know that I've ever seen an orphanage. New York where they don't ride bicycles on the sidewalk, right? <laughs> the, the same, yes. <laughs> That's getting tough. I'm going to drop a baby here in a second. Don't. Then they'll die. Uh, Miss So had a John for a father, an early adopter. Dad bought new electronics when they first came out, VCR, microwave, etc. But he never bought us a computer for some reason. I had hmm. to check out computer games at a friend's house. Hmm. So he was a very specific okay. electronics buyer. Well, you know, th there are worse ways to get into computer gaming is to go to your buddy's house. and mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We were we were talking with Tony, one of our new patrons, the other day. He was over in the Discord server, and we were talking about how um, we're looking at different computer games. We mentioned Choplifter, and I had to go and play it, and so I streamed it. And uh, and I was saying that, you know, I mentioned Mule. I'm like, well, here's the game. He wasn't familiar with oh it. I God, said, Mule. the thing with Mule is... It was a game that if my friend came over, anything could happen, but we knew we were playing Mule. Like, that was for sure. So anytime, that's why you're there. Yeah. Just, even if that wasn't why you came over, we're going to play Mule. I mean, that's going to happen. <laughs> that, that, that's a given. <laughs> we just you get so... It's one of those games that's... And that's why it's so beloved for me now, because I'm going to let this baby fall so I can try the B level. Ooh, Rylus butt. Look at that. Here they come. Two more. Ooch. Let's see what... Trying this. to save them? Not, not, not so much. <laughs> so here, here's what it could look like. All right. Or just demonstrating what it looks like. When yeah, you yeah. So now I let's like try the middle baby fall. The middle baby has got a yeah. completely different shape. I'm just trying, I'm just trying the, the version B just to see. I guess it gets more difficult more quickly. They do seem to move faster in yeah. this one. Yeah. All right. So we save some babies. Hooray. <laughs> I love the flame Who's that? Who's that I see? Is that MC Murr in the stream just popped in? Murr, yeah. Murr. He, uh, he said earlier, he said he made it. We can all relax. <laughs> he oh. did. Now, here's the thing. Who was asking earlier about finding used in old vintage video games? MC Murr is the man. Oh, yeah. He's like a hardcore serious collector. He has been heavy on the stream of... Oh, somebody fix that stupid bot. Um, yeah. He's been heavy lately doing his flea market flipping where he goes out on Saturdays and... And he's got he's got a, a he's got a freaking dash cam on his chest. He's got a sternum cam, and he's going around talking to people and 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 talking them down on, on value. And then he goes back and tells you how much they're worth. So, yeah, you definitely go check out MC Merge channel. His flea market vids are doing great lately. Oh yeah, they're they're awesome. And you can see just how easy it is, and sometimes tough, but typically easy to find games for a buck or two that otherwise you'd pay through the nose for. Yeah, the bee, they're definitely flying. Like, these parents are irresponsible just throwing, like, three babies at a time. That's bad plan. I figured at least they have a shot. <laughs> what if it was three sets of parents? And they were just trying to get <laughs> just, their child out first. One out of each window. 
But of course, they like the little babies with halos. Not to make you feel guilty. Right. Don't feel bad, but that you that represents a baby that you dropped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, oh, I think the bot gave us a thumbs down. That's our first thumbs down. John's going to feel it? bad about that That's, now. It's, it's, what about my self worth? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Oh, no. They're everywhere. Oh, baby on his butt. All right. I love the name of it was High I Hack Accounts. That's right. Very subtle. And he just kept saying, I'm going to hack you. I would, I would. Well, just do it. <laughs> it was like the Wreck It Ralph of the bot world. I'm going to wreck it. <laughs> I'm going to hack it. <laughs> All right. So then we have, oh, well, this is interesting. So the next thing I have is also fire, but it's the color widescreen. I mentioned there were some varieties. Oh, it's so the same game, but it's just widescreen. Same version. game. Yeah. Yeah. This is the color variety. Well, it's, I guess the LCD is not color. It's just a wider screen. So does that mean we'll more? See. Does that mean more baby bounces? More I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> well, they have more animations now. Their heads are going back and forth. They have mouths. You really see splat when you miss now? Oh, now. <laughs> oh, the fire has smoke. Creates a little puddle. Right. That's terrible. <laughs> terrible, Mo. <laughs> and now Mo's little siren is there permanently. Yep, it is. How do you know when they rescued a kid? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, now it actually says game A. The other one didn't have that information. It just said, it oh, didn't yeah. say anything. And this is a later one. It has it has an alarm. Oh, see, actually, I think they got rid of the fact that they were babies. I think these are now adults. Oh, or is, that, is, is that the deal? They're much smaller adults than the firemen, though. They yeah. Are, yeah, so maybe they're, they're, they're adolescents. Yeah, they're, they're Again, teens. little people. They're happy-go-lucky teens. <laughs> <laughs> See, they're smiling. Uh, uh, Marcus they're says, did anyone have a Timex Sinclair? No. I didn't? I did no. not. No. You know, these are, are probably teens. They're probably just mosh-pitting. They're like, yay! <laughs> they're high on Molly, and they're jumping out of a flaming party. And they're like, yeah, throw us in the the party bus. No, that's an ambulance, <laughs> dummy. <laughs> yeah, party bus. Hey, who cares? They have more. They won't miss. They have morphine in the party bus. <laughs> a lot of damn people in this small-ass apartment in this party. Yeah, I know. The building goes back a ways. Oh, is it? It's, it's, it's like, one of the long It's like a whole, like, whole it's city block. Go. It's it's enormous. Yeah. <laughs> it's enormous, yeah. Ah, ah, guy, get the guy. So this is the, it's pretty much the same game, but a little bit better, I would say. It just looks a little better. But the gameplay is yeah. just as cool. Let's let them fall. Squash. And they still well, have halos. That, that had to have meant that the game was somewhat popular in the first place yeah. for them to make to a do sequel, an, a right? remix. Yeah, for sure. Let me tell you, I, I played the crap out of this one. Did you? Yeah. All right. Well, sweet. All right, let's move along since we have 800 of these to get through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so the next one I have... Uh, Kung Meng is here. He says, I see you already played Donkey Kong. That was the only G&W he owned. Oh, was it? Yep. Uh, okay. Yeah, he says he got it almost at its U.S. release. A schoolmate imported one from Japan and brought it to school one day. Oh, nice. so you got early. Nice. Yeah. Well, he said he saw that, and then as soon as he saw it, he begged his parents to get him one, and they did. Yep. Nice parents. We did. Well, Kun Meng, if you become the stream boss, you can tell us what game to go play. You can go make it pick That's one. That's right. Yep. <laughs> Look, we've, we're about a third down there. We, looks like we're... Uh... Maybe I'm safe. We'll see. All right. So this one's called Fire Attack. This one is up, down, left. It's just four directionals. So top right, top, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. And it's fire. 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 So looks like. What are you trying to do? Oh, you're trying to put out the fire. I'm trying to not. Oh, look, uh, my fort's catching on fire. I think you're trying to put out the fire. Somebody's trying to set it on fire. You're trying to put it out. Or, or stop him from setting it on fire. I'm stopping it. Pretty sure. Yeah. Well, you're trying to so stop I, I, <laughs> Dummy, you just brought a <laughs> you brought a hammer to a firefight. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's what's on hand. That's right? bad planning. It's all I had. Clunk in the head. Got him. Now I don't think I noticed this on the previous game, and maybe it did, but I'm seeing your button presses on this one. Yeah, they yeah, all do it. They all, they do it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, is this one culturally appropriate? I don't think it is. <laughs> no. No, I think you're you're exactly right. is getting the wife at the grocery store call. That's the call <laughs> we've all had where you like, do you need anything from the grocery store? Yep. Yep. I usually I get need the... you to magically read my mind and pick it up without calling me. That's I, what I, I usually get the text and I just don't see it until we got home. And I'm like, oh, yeah, we're out of ketchup. Well, why didn't you text me when I was at the grocery? I'm like, 
Didn't see it. Oh, we got another, uh... Yep. Oh, Miss So! Tackling the boss. Yes, she is. Somebody's got to become the stream boss. We're going to play the fanfare. <laughs> like three or four of us threw that thing in timeout. <laughs> oh, what happened? Oh, my goodness. Well, you, you guys are on it. I just... My fort is in fuego. This one's tough. <laughs> it's, it's not easy. Let me try the B game, since it clearly was too <laughs> difficult for me already. So what happens is one press of the button puts you at the location, and the second press of the button swings the hammer. Clunk. Yeah, they're they're hauling butt. Molotov. Knock us down to now. Let me look. Ooh, we're at under fifteen hundred hit points now. That's a thousand hit points gone. Ooh, goodness. Wow. This could become a problem. <laughs> Again, it depends on your perspective. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, Minor Tom, we saw that someone disliked the stream. It's just the bots. As we time them out, yeah. they automatically thumbs down when they leave. Ooh, what if it was Tom? What if he pointed it out? You know, it's like somebody who, he reports the crime, and then you don't suspect him. Maybe that's what it is. Minor Tom gave us the thumbs down. <laughs> the old man says, who it, decided it. a hammer was the appropriate tool for this? Exactly! Yeah. Exactly! Maybe <laughs> maybe it's a fire axe. You know, it's, it's two-dimensional, so. Wow. Yeah, it didn't really look like a bucket of water, that's for sure. The level B is no joke, I'll tell you that. That's, yeah. Oh, my little flag is on fire? Oh, this is too sad, I gotta move on. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like walking to a bad episode of F Troop. Alright, so the next one on the list, we've made it to the Fs. <laughs> Flagman. This one, George, you're gonna love, I predict. I'm gonna love this one? You're gonna love. Okay. Why am I gonna love this one? This is Flagman. Are you? No, no, he's gonna love this one. I mean, it looks very plain. Yeah, it is. It, no alarm, so it kind of t it dates it to the early '80s, right? So here we go. I'm going to start. Two. Simon. It's it. It's Simon. Ah. And his foot. <laughs> oh, I hate this game already. <laughs> yep, this would be a game I would enjoy. Yep. I thought so. I mean, it doesn't have the colors that Simon has, right. but it's still the same game. But it has feet. I've already forgotten now. Oh, crap! <laughs> oh, man! <laughs> <laughs> two, one, three. One, two. Uh, monitor 1CC is in. He says Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch favorite Game & Watch title was surprisingly advanced and pushed the limits of LCD games featuring simulated side-scrolling platforming, separated worlds, and even a warp zone. Oh, nice. Is he talking about the, the new one? Or the old he Super Mario be. Brothers? I, I, we'll get to the S's at some point, theoretically. Maybe we'll see it. <laughs> we'll never get there. <laughs> I'm about to lose, because I can't keep up with all these combinations. Well, I think we get the idea of this game. <laughs> Mo just wants to move on. He's he like, I'm yeah, six. I'm already Simon. tired of it. I hate, I hate anything. Uh, Simon is just like the game that just frustrated me as a kid. Mm. Oh, wow. See, Get there. I don't see a score. I just. See? Because there's no point. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe when I lose, it'll tell me. How far uh, I did? Murr says he never had a G&W. He had Tiger and Konami. We talk a little bit about those in that mm -hmm. podcast on Thursday. Can I? Oh, I'm about to... I... He's still going! <laughs> Say, come on! Oh, goodness. And my score is 111. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. All right. Just for Mo. We'll move on. Mo, you could be the stream boss for now and tell us to move on, so that's fine. Thank you, because that was stressing me out. <laughs> we don't want that to happen. No. All right, next up is Gold Cliff. Mm. And I'm not sure I understand how to play this one, but that's okay. That's why we're That's never here. stopped you before. That's never stopped me from trying it. That's right. So let's bring it up. Gold Cliff. Hmm. Marcus Taylor says, George of Gen X Grown Up, I'd like to point out that your response to my recent podcast email was a bit discourteous. <laughs> a bit? I, I'd, I'd like to point out that it was well-deserved. <laughs> while we're pointing stuff out. I thought it was the right amount of discourteous, actually. Just the right amount. 
What am I? Uh, come, man. He's he left his comment somewhere else, maybe in Discord or something, but he just left it in live stream. He said, let's see you guys play that Pac-Man card game sometime that Mo talked about. The only difficulty that we have is I don't live where <laughs> yeah. John and Mo live. So we'd have to make special arrangements. I'm not against the idea. Mm -hmm. I think it would be fun. And either as a live stream or as a static video, I would um, also be very interested because now that John talked about it in a podcast and oh. uh, we bought it, that Pac-Man Monopoly game, is quite fun. Is neat. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's a game night. It could be. I just figured out there's a key I need to get to over there, but I don't know how to get there. <laughs> yeah, we're talking. John's like, look, I got a game to play here. Leave me alone. No, we're doing fine. It's... I I don't know. Is there something I can jump on? Maybe those, the... <clears throat> oh, can I get there? I can't get there. How am I going to get to that key? That makes no sense. Do the vines play into it? Now there's things on the floor trying to bite me. It seems kind of very Donkey Kong Jr.-ish. Yeah, but it sucks. Oh, and then you have to go up to the... Oh, I see. Oh, it's actually using both screens. Okay. Yeah, I'm up here. Jump? Yeah. But I, like, I can't walk on the vines or anything? See the key Ooh. that's on well, the... Well, you're supposed to keep jumping. I think you have to jump. You missed the last platform. You went the wrong Those way. little spikes look painful. Yeah, so that's, that's this might be our second instruction requirement. Let's see. So I'm going to try what Mo suggested. So I make my way to the top. I'm waiting for them to appear, right? But then I get to the top, and I, there's nowhere to go. There should be another platform. On the there. red there. bricks, maybe? Can you jump through those bricks or hit them or something? Did you try to jump there? I, I jumped, but I, all I did was hit the ground. Oh. Come oh. on. Yeah, right? Now, you, you can see the, the locks up there on the left and right. See them? Uh, Miss So asked, can we play the Pac-Man card game with tabletop emulator somehow? Possibly. You know, I I don't know enough about it to, I'm guessing we'd have to put the graphics in somehow, and I can't imagine anybody's Oof. loaded all that stuff ahead of time. <laughs> I don't know, I'll take a but look, It'd be though. fun to try, hmm. yeah. Okay. And I think Mo is also setting up a Dungeons & Dragons thing with yep. uh, some of his children and children-in-laws at some point soon, right? Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Ch <are>. Children-in-law. <laughs> that's, that's an interesting term. All right, what this is called? Gold you mean Cliff. that guy. Gold Cliff. All right, we're going to try it. We're gonna Mo see seems we're gonna... to really not like that guy. He always calls him he's that a... guy. He's all right. He's, he's okay. all right. He's okay. You know your daughter's in the live stream, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do this in front of her. She time. knows. She knows. All right. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> so there's, there's a she story. Knows about the highest praise. Blah, blah, blah. blah. <laughs> Set the time. My daughters. All right. Rachel, I would just ignore it. I think he's just putting off his own marital woes on top of it. Oh, you. my. Good gracious. <laughs> <laughs> no, the simple fact is no one's good enough for my daughter. You'll find a key while you're climbing. Skillfully grab and, and hold of it. You will need it to open the door at the top. Climb oh, up the see, wall. That's the Climb up the wall of the ancient ruins by jumping up up the floor that disappears as soon as it appears. I mean, I, I understand what you mean, but that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Beat the enemy and get treasure. If you open the door several times and proceed to the treasure chamber. Okay. That's how you fail. Beware of the crab. That's true in all parts of life. <laughs> Cautions. Barry and John Crystal. crabs and balls. Yeah. <laughs> Climb up the wall. That's what Thank I'm doing. It really doesn't tell me. What I'm supposed Charlie to do? Charlie has an interesting philosophical question. He says, you're offered a deal that gives you $19 million. The deal is to film your life live and unedited to the largest channel in the U.S. Do you take the deal? Yes, twice. Wow. $19 million? Yeah. Well, they made the movie about that, didn't they? Yeah. Well, and he got more than $19 million. Well, you know the thing about $19 million? It might make me sad, but it buys a lot of tissue. Mm-hmm. Well, and some of that tissue is going to get used in the live stream. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Just... So George's is an OnlyFans. <laughs> but see, see the key over there. Then what? I can I can fall and that that was interesting. I was able to fall pretty far. And not die. Okay. I just didn't fall on a crab. So. Oh. Uh... Oh, maybe I have an idea. Rachel the, says she's got to go. Uh, phone started a suspicious countdown, and I believe it's about to explode. The phone? Oh, my. 
Uh, Monitor 1CC says, Years ago, I imported a VD screen tabletop dig dug unit by Gakken. Uh, has a collapsible arcade style screen and surprisingly authentic gameplay. Ridiculously cool. You, when you say imported, you mean you imported it from overseas to buy it? I'm about to give up on this one. The instructions were no help. And I've gotten really close to that key several times and... Oh, goodness. Yeah. I mean, you got... You got what level are you on now? <laughs> yeah, I'm on... G? <laughs> G, yeah, so you get, you get a lot okay. of letters to go here. Okay, all right. We've seen this one. It doesn't wow me. There are other ones that are better. Let's see what we got. Next up, Greenhouse. Which one was this? Ooh. Oh, oh I thought this one was really interesting because it looks like it's Donkey Kong 3. So check this out. Get over there. Here we go. Right. Uh, Monitor 1CC says, correct, it was a Japan-only tabletop unit. Now, John, you're a big Dig Dug fan. Did you know about this one? Mm -mm. I did not. A VFD screen tabletop Dig Dug unit? Hmm. What does VFD stand for? It is... I've... Very fine device? No, it's not. I've forgotten. Someone will tell us in okay. a second. V fix... some, some, something fixed display. Ah. Video fixed display, video something like that. See Plague Doc just joined? I saw that, yes. Uh, Miner wants to know, could you try updating DS games on the Atari Pi? DS games? I think he means up adding them to the Atari Pi as part of the emulating. Like, put DS ROMs in the Atari Pi? Well, I definitely could, yeah. I, I was trying to get the most bang for the buck, and those are typically much larger images, so I didn't. But DS is supported. Yep, it's in the list. So I, the question I have is, I guess everything's on the one micro SD, right? The operating system, the ROMs you store. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be. That That's what I'm doing, but it doesn't have to. Okay. You can absolutely like have an external drive or something. Sure you could. Yep. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. So see how it's Mario, it's Donkey Kong 3. It's it's the guy with the little, mm -hmm. whatever his name is. With the, the beast. Yeah, yep. Yeah. And I'm not a fan of Donkey Kong 3 in general, so this one doesn't wowing me. <laughs> Fitty one says vacuum fluorescent display. Ah, I got the D part right. It was display. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that counts. <laughs> it's 33%. It definitely counts. Speaking of which, we're about 33% of our hit points down, and we're into an hour of this live stream Look at George. I, I, we usually go like what? Usually two hours? A couple hour hours. A half, yeah, couple so hours, yeah. If anybody wants to knock us off that pedestal, they got a little ways to go there. All right. So this one. Marcus says, no surprise you got the D right. <laughs> wow. It's a tough crowd tonight. <laughs> <laughs> this one's called Helmet. Or Helmut, if you're German, I guess. And it. it so the first time I tried this, I looked at this screen. I'm like, oh, you've got to catch these tools with your helmet. No, you're just dodging them. <laughs> right away, I'm like, oh, I have the hard hat. So I, I let it hit me, right? Nope, that's not the key. It's all just dodging. Uh, Charlie Maloney says, you are forced to sell your soul. However, you can add any condition is your condition. Never die, never grow. Simple. Then I don't have to worry about what I sold. Is Ooh. that one thing or two? It's part of the same condition. I didn't end it with a period. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I, I, I accept. Ha <laughs> 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 ha, infinite wishes, boom. <laughs> the universe implodes. Yeah, this one is just a dodging game. Minor Tom says, is this a gaming stream or a comedy stream? Hard to tell. Well, I, it sounds like a compliment to me. I like being two things at once. Why can't it be both? That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah ju you just said you want to never die and never grow old. So, Little from game A, little from game B. <laughs> oh. All right. I've had as much fun as I'm going to have with this one, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, just don't, I don't mean by that. I'm just saying. <laughs> this one is one of the stupidest ones I've seen. This one is called Judge. Oh, jeez. <laughs> so... I, two player? It can be. It can be. Yes, and so you can you can take turns on which side it is. So what I do is I'm the guy on the right hand side. 
I had to look at the instructions for this. So on the right hand side, now what happens is a countdown and they both show a number. If your number is higher or equal to the guy on the left, I push the up button to hit him on the head with a hammer. If my if I'm lower than him, I push the down button to duck so he doesn't hit me with a hammer. That's it. Okay. <laughs> and apparently, this is a game. <laughs> well, it, there is fun. <laughs> I wonder if this one even had an American release because it's got a lot of the original Japanese characters on the on the screen on the fascia there. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, was, yeah. yeah. Got him! Clunk. Because it, it matched. <laughs> Miss O says she'd like to keep her soul. She'd only be willing to sell it if she on once it was taken. Boom. Come on. Ooh, it's he, like one of those, he uh, ducked. I remember reading a fantasy book a story about a person like gets one of those deals like devil says, oh, if I offered you this for your soul. The guy's like, well, you know, I never really believed in the existence of a soul, but since you just told me about it, I think it's really, really valuable, so I'm not going to trade for anything. <laughs> John Arbor says... This look. This game looks like George and Mo discussing the Bee Gees. <laughs> <laughs> winner! Winner! We got a winner. Uh. Oh! Oh! We, oh! Because we're tied, he had a chance to hit me. Oh! 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 And I was too low, so I couldn't hit him. So that, that's so is, that's that's what this game is. That's a uh, that's so. Uh, it's war with actual war. Mm -hmm. Like, who has the highest card, yep. and then you actually get to do battle. And then you actually have to do something about it, yeah. Yep. That's interesting. Yep. Oh, I just noticed that I had... Uh... Oops. That one's too far over. Fix that, won't you? There we go. All right, so the next one shall be... Make it a good one. <laughs> yes, no, no pressure. No pressure. All right, so we're on Judge. At least we're up in the... Lifeboat is the next hmm. one. It's pretty okay, much this one looks like a disaster. It's pretty much what you think it is. I mean, as in like it's you know a disaster. Right, it is a disaster. It is, yeah. Alright, so bring this over. Boom, there we go. So, lifeboat. Just move left and right, does have an alarm, so it's a little bit later. It's got a color overlay. Uh, I'm going to do game A. You're trying to help your people get off the boat and onto an island or something? I'm not entirely certain. Oh, when I move left and right, it moves both of the sets of boats. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, I'm because so... the boat itself is across the, both images. The bow is on the right side and the stern. Yeah, I mean my little lifeboat. No, but I'm saying the big ship everybody's jumping off. That's right, yeah, yep. Oh, and I have to get them over to the shore. See, they climb out when I get to the shore. Oh, this is a multi. Shark. This is a multitasking nightmare. Oh my goodness. Yep. Minor Tom says, "Hey John, you're a gaming watch because you are gaming and we are watching." <laughs> That's. You know that wouldn't be as funny except. This today, my wife said, "Hey, you're going to live stream tonight," and I said, "Yeah." I said, "We're going to do game and watch," and she said. And I said, do you know what that is? And she's like, well, it's like where you play a game and they watch. And I'm like, no. <laughs> However, now it is. <laughs> Apparently. So yep. basically what you always do. Yeah. This is Game & Watch with Game & Watch. Yeah. If, if you're not good at multitasking, throw this in the dumpster. This would be a well, nightmare. You can have three people in a boat at one time? I think so. That or looks about right. in a lifeboat, a raft, or mm -hmm. whatever. I think you're right. Let's see if I can get a fourth one. Yep, I get four. Oh, wow. But I bet a fifth one would fall. That's my suspicion. Oh, and look, when you pulled that back, the guy who was about to jump on the island got stuck, and he was like, ah! Did he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, too many in that boat. Yep. If you have more yep. than four, you're you're done. Yep. Oh, and the shark came and got him. It's not enough the shark's in the water. They have <laughs> the animation of the shark going to the guy. <laughs> duh, duh, duh. <laughs> nice. All right, lifeboat. That's That one's all right. Now, I looked, a lot of these are in the Android App Store. I'm guessing they're not, I don't think they're Nintendo releases, but somebody's put a few of them out there. Maybe they're clones. You could probably get away with a clone. Don't you expect? It's not like these games are that. Yeah, it's not that super proprietary secret yeah. sauce. Yeah. All right, so the next one is called Lion. I'm telling the truth here. I'm not lying. 
No, nobody. Okay. <laughs> it was it was pretty bad. It was bad. I know. Yeah. I know. I, I admit it. Okay. Here's the lion. Admitting you have a problem. Now this one looks like an old one, but it's a little later because it doesn't have an alarm. Okay. Some of these overlays have the dates on them, but this one this one doesn't. So. So so I'm the lion tamer, and the lion is. I have to keep him from getting out. It's like playing zookeeper. Whoa! Oh, he came out. I did poorly. I was just about keeping in line with the lions. Oh, okay. Ah! So when they come out, you have to be there with your chair to scare them back in. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Uh, Minor Tom says, ask Batman for a shark spray. That was awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the film, wasn't it? That was that, uh, like, uh, yep, 69 or something? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. When he fought every villain. Mm -hmm. Fitty One says, this is a Siegfried and Roy game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he's about to eat me. <laughs> Let me get mauled. The lion, George. You know the lion. One thing I love about having a child with a car that actually still lives in my house is when they're on the way home from somewhere, I can ask them to stop and get me McDonald's. Br bring me food. Yep, yep, yep. yep. <laughs> you owe me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I Lions. I still do that when I play Monopoly. Yeah, Every me time too. I played it playing the Pac-Man Monopoly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you owe me. <laughs> Uh, Who started that? I don't even remember. I did because, well, was it you that started? well, because people were a pain in the butt because if you don't announce that mm -hmm. you recognize, somebody will roll the dice unless you declare that you know they've landed on your property. And so by, you so by declaring it, you go, stop, stop, you owe me. And then you look for your card and figure out how much it is. You know, in that Pac-Man game, that's actually a rule that's written in the, in the guide. It says if nobody notices mm -hmm. that you owe them yep. and somebody else goes, then you don't have to pay. That's right. All right. I do love the one rule in that Pac-Man Monopoly game where it said, if you're out of points and you're out of properties, don't worry about paying rent. Your time is already at its end. <laughs> <laughs> or something like that. I was like, that's you're, awesome. How do you know this? Did you already buy it? Yeah. You already have it. Oh, it. Well, really? I didn't know. You, you yes. said you were gonna. I didn't know you did. Oh, no, no. Yeah, we bought it and played it. Um, Everything was going good until my wife started getting tired, and then she wanted to quit playing. And we had messed up something on the console that uh, two of the properties ended up on one person's coin. Yeah. And they were supposed to be split. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's, it's a very clever system. Those coins with the different shapes on their backs determining what part of the console, what memory mm -hmm. slot that all that stuff gets done in. That's really clever. That's nice, Yeah. And the shapes of the coin is how it mechanically knows who it is, mm -hmm. so no, no electronics to deal with. Well, and that's, you know, I assumed, oh, it's, you know, some kind of a chip, right? Nope. But, yeah. No. This one's pretty simple. So it's called Manhole. Marcus. Oh, you just have to... Marcus. You have to make sure the people don't fall through the street. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you have, the, you have the manhole hat. Oh, no, it's not a hat. He's just holding it above his head. And it looks like that every time you save them, you get a point. He's holding that one with his butt, with his head, with his <laughs> hand, with his butt. <laughs> it's not too tough. I can see. Yeah. I, I mean, I can see. Yeah, that's the famous last words, right? It's about to get tough. Plague Doc remembers Manhole. He got introduced to Game and Watch from the Game Boy series. Oh, huh. oh okay. Correct. Oh. Ooh, there's two of them back to back there. That's tough. <laughs> yeah. People hole cover. It's, 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 all right. it's, it's about, yeah, it's time to get woke. It's a person hole cover. <laughs> I like that as soon as they, they beep, you can leave. You don't have to stand there and wait for them to exit. Oh, Miss So said, these have been a lot of fun to watch. Memories. You're oh. not kidding. I definitely got some, like, like cause I didn't remember these games, so I saw John oh, playing oh. them. Like, whoop. Marcus, uh -oh. Uh -oh. Marcus a with, with, with a sticker. Uh, Kung Meng says, just ran into a question about why manhole covers around. Does anybody not yet know why? I know. I know why. At least I think I know, I know why. why. Okay. Well, I'll play the stupid guy then. I don't know why, Kung Meng. Can you please enlighten us? <laughs> Let's see if I was right. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I'm right. And whatever he answers, I'm going to say yes. Th that's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I said. That's what I said. 
Screw you guys. I'm going to the manhole. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, come on. They're making the timing pretty close now. Hmm. All right, I think we've seen what this one has to offer. If there were a stream boss, he could tell me when to move on, but there's not, so <laughs> I'm cool. I'm the boss. Kung Mang says so they can't fall into the manhole. Uh, Fitty One mm -hmm. clarifies so the lid doesn't turn sideways and fall into the hole that's during right. the work. Yep, that, that's what I heard too. That, that's what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right, so even though manhole was not the most riveting game, the next one I have is... An example of one of the, a widescreen version of manhole. So that color, and see how much I want to see how much better it gets with this later version. <clears throat> He's still holding the manhole with his butt. It's not much different. It's just a later version. And like your graphics, and like you said, George, it, they yeah. probably sold well, and so they're like on the second wave. Let's redo this one, right? Right. Yep. Prettied up the hard. Oh, Marcus threw another two dollars for one up tip. Marcus is trying desperately to become the he must stream, be boss, stream boss. Is he? Is he? And we're down to thirteen forty yep. in hit points now. You know, we're on did, the did we're you, on the back nine. Did you say somebody became a member earlier? I don't think I is saw that. You that. Said? I, I didn't see it. I think you said. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Yeah, I remember you saying somebody joined. When you said joined, I thought, oh, someone joined. Not joining a membership ah. program. They joined the stream. Got it. Got it. I remember. But that's another thing that actually will uh, damage the boss. And here's a Oh, if somebody becomes a YouTube member? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Cool. Click that little join button. That also. Now, I'll tell you an interesting uh, twist on the stream boss is that uh, if you become the stream boss, if you do, if you, if you make a super chat while you're the boss, it adds hit points. It heals the boss. So you won't be removed. Huh. You see what I mean? So that's right. Follow. <laughs> so, so say for example, Mo, you became the stream boss. Okay. Okay. Woo. Yeah. Hooray for you. Hooray for me. Well, now yes. everybody's trying to dethrone you as the stream boss, right? Right. If you were to make a contribution to the stream, it would heal the power meter because you are the so you boss. Could, you could keep yourself as the boss. That's, that's right. You could keep yourself as the boss. Uh. So as long as you are the boss, your contributions. Add to the meter instead of just subtract from it. You know, I've know. been married damn near 20 years. I don't think I've ever been the boss. So, so you're not sure what not that's like. I care about keeping. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So next up is Mario Bros. Ah, oh, my back. goodness. Stuff is happening. $2. Somebody, $2. somebody wants the boss to, to change. So that's like that's, two something. That's at least, that's at least a dollar. <laughs> so now this will be interesting if you're going to play Mario Brothers if this is the one that somebody else in the chat was talking about that they loved or if they liked or if they the liked newer one. right yeah now this is one that I tried beforehand and hey wow play doc thank you Marcus thank you again look at the star popping up there ooh we're dead, getting almost in the red mm -hmm. I really this is one of those that I'm like I would I would buy if I saw it somewhere so it's, this game really it's kind of a multitasker it's not mario brothers at all it is two mario it's two brothers but it's it's not the mario <laughs> brothers game but check it's this brothers. out you appear to be in like a soda factory okay so i'm controlling i'm up and down for, oh, the, for the guys on it. either side see it's a different mario family these are the mario brothers walking and they work in the same factory that Laverne and shirley did oh okay, that makes sense schlemiel <laughs> schlemazel <laughs> It so, seems like it's a uh, like a tapper kind of thing. A little bit, but you're managing. Oh, we're down the red. Oh, Marcus just got here. Well, Marcus. Oh, no, that's a new one. Oh, Marcus yeah, threw Marcus five. Marcus just keeps throwing money at it. He really wants to be the stream boss. He does. Well, let's get late, he guys. He so wants to tell John what to do. <laughs> <laughs> and now new ones start coming. Now, of course, it gets hectic. because Now they load, load the truck. But it gets huh. hectic because they'll start sending new ones before those are done, of course. I'll have uh, it's very tapper like, like Mo said. I got to make sure that I manage. So now the guy on the left is pretty free to move around. But the guy on the right, he's ready to grab the next two crates, right? Yep. Miss So and Minor Tom are talking about something that I didn't realize happened. Oh. 
they're getting ads from YouTube during the live stream. So it's taking over the really? live stream itself. Really? That's bullshit. I don't like that. I got to make sure I turn that off. I'm sure I can turn off anything that I want. There's no reason to have a mid-roll ad. That's 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 dumb. I mean, I haven't seen it, I guess, because I subscribed. To I, well, I'm, I'm premium. Yes, yeah, so you wouldn't see if you're premium. But yeah, there's no reason to have that. That's not intentional. Yeah, I mean... Because we don't really care about ad revenue on a live stream. Nope. Yeah. nope. This is a hangout. So. Yeah. We'll, we'll get that changed. Sorry about Sorry that. Sorry about that, guys. Yep. Thanks for, thanks for letting us know. Yep. Yeah, because we would have never figured it out. Cause yeah, because we're premium. premium. <laughs> we would know. Yep. Yeah. But we'll get it fixed. Yeah, I'm sure it's just a setting I can change. There's all kinds. There's a million boxes you can tick and untick when you're setting up. Oh, in the right place. Get it. Oh, get up there. Oh, My son more. is definitely having adult issues now. He says the line in the drive-thru is huge. I'm like, <laughs> Wham! <understood. laughs> oh, I'm about to fill the truck. I filled the look. The truck is driving off. Oh, there it goes. Oh, oh but you oh. dropped something. And the boss on the other side got pissed. Oh, he was he was not pleased. Uh oh, Mike B, two more dollars at you. Oh, is that going to drop us in below a thousand yet? It's going to be close. And I lost. So that's the Mario Brothers one. I think that one is really cool. That's a very fun, fun game. I can see it. I, I kept playing that one over and over. Yeah, cool. I played that one a lot because I was like, that's interesting. Ooh, 1,050. We're almost oh, below 1,000. Oh, my goodness. All right. Now, this one is kind of interesting. This is called Mario the Juggler. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Full color backdrop. But it's ball. It's <laughs> just Mang ball. Said about that last game, he said that's what working in an Amazon warehouse is like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Yep. Boss yelling at you for taking a pee break. Isn't this just the ball? The first one we played. It's the same game. It just it hard. just looks like Mario. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, game. Mario was getting super popular around the time this was probably. Oh yeah, I, mean, I can understand. I get the, why they did it. Grab. Sure, I yeah. get why they get it. Yeah, but. Yeah, I guess they don't want to call it Mario's Balls. <laughs> <laughs> I guess not. That, that could have been a marketing problem. <laughs> Mario's Balls. Uh, Marcus says, while they should fix it for the live stream, I cannot recommend YouTube Premium any higher. Yeah. I'm not sure what he means by any higher, but... It's highly recommended by him. Oh, oh, highly re Okay, I got yeah. you. I got it just because yes. it pissed me off. The ads just mm -hmm. pissed me off. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. they won. You know, I hate that. <laughs> right. Fine. <laughs> yes. Now, the only thing I wish it was that there was some kind of a like four or five person family option. There thing, is. Like there is in the YouTube TV. There is. There is. The 100%. Oh, yeah. they used to not have it. Okay. 100%. Yep. Yep, there absolutely is. Because well, how much is that? Because if I can give I, that to I, my I, wife, she I want to say because I think card, one no person's way. nine ninety nine and a family is like fifteen ninety nine maybe. Well, that's what we're doing then. Oh, there, Marcus says seventeen ninety nine for six people. Seventeen. There we go. Thank you, Marcus. I just found a way to transfer a fee from my credit card to my wife's credit card. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Mario's going to drop these balls now because this is just ball. Fair enough. <laughs> Okie dokie. Next. Next up on the hit parade, we Kung have Mang ads and live streams don't make sense. Yeah, it's it's got to be a setting that we have Kung Mang because we just have ad revenue on our default. So, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm... Oh, Marcus says you also get YouTube Music when you do that. I mean, I already have it though on the Prime one, so I guess everybody would get it then. That's cool. <laughs> That's or the cool. Prime, whatever it is. Here's another one of these uh, upright ones. Panorama screen, ah. Mario's Bombs Away. Now, wow. it is Mario. This one, I played a little bit, and it was tough but clever. So check this out. I think this is really a neat one. Uh, Mike B says, do any of you have a VPN? Yes. Oh, yes. I definitely yes. All the oh, time. Yeah. Nonstop. Constantly. <laughs> and I've been very happy with the one I finally landed on. Dependable VPN. So you move across. These guys are trying to light the bomb you have in your hand. Uh, and so you can lift it up, but then a guy in the tree tries to light it. But it keeps the guy on the ground from lighting it. So you want to get all the way here and hand it to this guy, I think. Uh oh, oh I, did, I did it wrong. 
to <laughs> Boom. All right, so I get over here. What do I do once I uh, get Minor there? Tom says Twitch streams do ads too. <laughs> Make it right. You know, we didn't, We I don't think we've streamed anything to our channel in a long time. It's been a while, yeah. I'm interested. I could. I'm not sure how to win. Like, I got all the way over there. What am I doing wrong to get there? I'm not reading the instructions. Screw that. <laughs> That's a matter of principle. It is, yeah. So there I have the bomb. Oh, there I handed it to him. Oh, and he threw it back into the guy. Nice. Okay. So I just have Oh, I bet if you get five of them up there, it blows them all up. That would be neat. Okay. Come on, dude. Take it. Take it. <laughs> he's, just in time. he's a little slow. Oh, you're right. Now I've got to, I've got to finish this. There's no, there's no world where I don't finish this. This is neat. Oh, oh no. Oh, here's a world. Yep. Okay, I start over. But now I know what I'm doing. Now I can play the Plank whole Rock game. Plank says, whoa, this looks pretty cool. Must be one of their later models. I think I would yeah, agree I think with that, Plague. With mm -hmm. the color stuff on yep. it, yeah. All right. Mike B says, you can reduce your YouTube fees whoa. if you use a VPN by appearing to come from a country where YouTube charges less for a family package when you sign up. Uh, a friend told him. <laughs> that, that sounds like a lot of work to save $3. <laughs> well, it's $3 per month. That's true. I mean, it does add up. Come on, dude. Grab the bomb. Dude. Or however much. It depends on what country you come from. Like, he he doesn't just grab it when you're there. You gotta wait for him to... I'll take it much. I just wanna know how that fuse lasts that long, but your fuse, mm -hmm. like, it's yep. instant. <laughs> yep. Come on, guy. Come on, guy. Grab it. Here we go. We got two. This is a cute one. I really like this one. Uh, Kung Meng says, how does this look folded? It's bigger than the pocket size. I'm, I would have to eBay it and look and see. Or Wikipedia yeah, these are all just, sure. you know, electronically projected in MAME, so yeah. we don't have the real Game & Watch. Oh, I think I got it. I, I've cracked the code. I know what I'm doing now. Miss So says, uh, for some reason dislikes Twitch's format and doesn't watch game streams on there. You know, hmm. I don't watch a lot of game streams myself other than ours, obviously, because I participate, but I know my son, he Four. loves watching game streams, and I guess Twitch is what a lot of he and his friends love to watch. I've been advised by a lot of people that we could probably do very well on Twitch if we just took the took the time to go over there, because it's the kind of streaming we do apparently is quite popular. Kind of the, you know, huh. the, the inclusive kind of talking to people and... You know, the community-style stream. Oh, here we go. Five bombs. Yeah! <laughs> Boom, baby! I am I am speechless. Marcus just gave me a compliment. Did he? <gasps> yes. Is he okay? Wait, was it backhanded? Was it backhanded? Somebody or... check no. on Marcus. It was, it was a legitimate compliment. Somebody check and see if he's okay. <laughs> he might have had a stroke. <laughs> while, while playing balls. <laughs> he says your new game segment intro on the podcast this was fire. Oh, Thank you, Mark. Well, hey, how about that? Assume that's a positive. Well, I mean, it's, it, it depends it, it, on which game and watch you're playing, I guess. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Next one, Mario's Cement Factory. Hmm. <laughs> I've never looked uh. at this one before. I don't have any idea. <laughs> So, so Miss says, there. great, thanks, John. Now I'll have to watch you guys on Twitch. <laughs> We're going to force you something we like. Would, our, our, we would do like a simultaneous one or something, wouldn't we? Marcus said, damn it, my kid got on the keyboard. <laughs> 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 that, that explains it. All right, let's 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 see Mario's Cement Factory. What do you have? Oh, that's how you fall down. That's not great. Okay. All right, so don't do that. <laughs> Oh, man. Wow. You, if it dropped out, you don't land on it on the next level. It, you're just done. So that so that opens a switch. So you got to run across this oh, thing. T2's got to go. What happened? Oh, a friend of mine shot himself in the eye with a toy Boba Fett missile. Oh. I hate when that happens. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, T2, thank you for being here, man. Yeah, see you later, man. Uh, Aaron Clark says, Cement Factory? I call Donkey Kong. It's yeah. very Donkey Kong-ish. 
Yeah. Well, the the fourth level of Donkey Kong is called mm-hmm. the Pie Factory or Cement Factory. Oh, here. Now we're loading stuff in there, sort of. Oh, see, I'm whatever I have, I'm uh, oh, it's it's cement, duh, obviously. So it's working its way down and I'm filling up this thing down there. You're getting points every time you release one. All right. So maybe maybe it's not as stupid as I thought it was. Oh, somebody fell. Oh well. It overflowed. Thank or you, something. Marcus. I appreciate that. I I just wanted to do something different. I've been the, doing the same old intro for about a year and a half, or maybe even since we started. And I was just wanting to try something new and different. So I guess if you liked it, we'll keep it. We would definitely keep it if you're the stream boss. But now we'll consider it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! All right, this one is clever, but I'm not having a lot of fun, so I'm going to move on. <laughs> All right, next up, uh, Mickey and Donald. Hmm. Wow. Wonder how they got the license for that. Well, they're Nintendo. Yeah. But at the time, they were just little in Nintendo. Yeah, that's that's a fair point. God dang it. All right, here we go. Oops. I'm going to overlap there. We'll fix that. There we go. Marcus says, anyone that watches these live streams... And- to the podcast is missing out thank you marcus well, thanks marcus minor tom where's the podcast it's anywhere you listen to podcasts just search for gen x grown up on any podcast platform and we're there mm-hmm. if you happen to find a platform we're not on let us know yep there's also uh, there's a url that's scrolling at the ticker at the bottom it tells you where to go gen x grown up.com slash pod pod yeah you can listen to it straight from our webpage if you don't have a podcast app on a phone or anything like that so i'm unclear what it is i'm supposed to be doing with the up down part of this i understand <laughs> well see you you hush see are I'm, you pumping water up until the fire and uh, then your guy up there is moving oh, to it, put it, out the fire it, in the row yeah so donald duck is up top and i think it's springing leaks and he has to go up and patch it so water continues Wait, to but flow he looks like he's a fireman yeah, I think he's a fireman, and you're pumping water from the fire yeah. truck. That's an old-time fire yeah. truck. And Donald is releasing the water down the row, yep. or column, rather, of yep. windows that has fire, yep. right? And Mickey and is on the... trying to hit the fire before it gets down to the bottom. Mickey is on the ladder. I think he's trying to keep the fire from getting up to the top. And that's why you have the Mickey Mouse upper down and the yep. Donald Duck right or left. Because it's spring, see that that one sprung a leak, and so I get Mickey to go mm-hmm. over there, and he fixes it, and the water starts flowing again. Okay, now see that is kind of interesting. I kind of like that. And Mike B says he remembers this cartoon. Maybe it was based on oh, a I, Disney cartoon. Could be. I could see that. Uh, Marcus threw the link in the live stream for the podcast. Thank, Thank you, you, Marcus. Thank you, sir. Gotta get the fire out. Come on, sprung another leak. <laughs> Miner says, "Thing is, I don't listen to podcasts." Well. Kind of... Well, but you could change that. You know, yeah. I, so w- why don't you listen? I've heard people say that too, like, yeah, I like podcast. Why? I, I'm very curious to know, and I'm not I'm not all being snarky or anything. I'm just like, is it because you heard a bad one that you didn't like, or, or you're a visual person, or? Well, I mean, you know, John, I didn't listen to podcasts at all until we started making this one. Mm-hmm. I understand that. But once I did, what I found was a type of podcast that I liked, which happened to be the fictionalized mm-hmm. drama serial type of podcast, right. like Black Tapes and Tannis and those kind of things. Yep. I won again. Black. Yay. Hey. All yeah. right. That one's okay. All right. Just 74 more to go. <laughs> okay. So next up, uh, Mickey Mouse with a panorama screen. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, goodness. Same game, just panorama. No, it's a different game. It's one of these Marcus guys. Marcus says he didn't list a podcast before we started either. Really? Huh. Yeah. But we should get like a percentage of, you know. <laughs> so I recently had the, the opportunity to be a guest on another show. Yeah, and, I listened to it. It's pretty good. And after we, thanks. And after we, uh, they do a great show. And after the show, we talked, like after we recorded, we stayed on, we were in Zoom. And we stayed in Zoom for probably another half an hour just talking about podcast stuff in general. And I was telling them that uh, that how – and George Moe, you and I, we've all talked about this before, that I wish there were – everything wasn't lumped into one thing called podcast because 
Like, I believe there's, like, the top tier uh, professional, serial, you know, dramatic, black tapes kind of podcast. That's, like, you know, like, real professionals do it, and they get paid money, and they're, you know... Yeah. That's one kind of podcast. At the bottom of the podcast world is three guys dialed into <laughs> Skype and they're yelling inside jokes at each other for three hours. Audio quality is bad. The mic is sounds like it's on their phone or on the webcam or something. And that's called a podcast. Hey. That's just a podcast like everything else. But I assert that that's not representative. And then there's in the middle, which I think we are, which I think the idiots are that I was oh, a guest on this show. I'm glad you clarified that because you were yeah, three like, guys. No, 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 no. Like, no. Listen, and, jerk, and, I don't yeah. have to be on this thing. No, no, and there's that middle not always <laughs> screaming. that we're, we are actually like trying to create a, a cohesive show and there's good editing and there's good sound quality. But I think somebody listens to one of those Skype type podcasts and it colors what they think everything is, you know? And I would just Possibly, wish there were categories. If that's what they get, if that's what they get, you know. Yeah, maybe. If that's what they find first, but more than likely they're going to find one of the professional first because they pop up so fast and so high in the searches on your different podcast apps. I would think that the ones like you're talking about probably don't color as many people's opinions as you think because not that many people are listening to them in the first place. That could be, but keep in mind they only have to hear it once to go. Oh my goodness, never again. I've certainly heard people that listen to our show, and like Marcus, who never listened to shows before, and then after he listened to it, he said, "I tried to listen to some more stuff, and I couldn't. It was just it, 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 the quality I of other shows, the that, right?" And I'm not like trying to blow our horn, like we're the best things in sliced bread. I don't mean that at all. I just mean there's very definitely a quality gap amongst well, what people call. Well, let me get to some that. of the stuff in the chat. Yeah, um, yeah, please do before it goes too far. So. Um, I've seen some people saying, um, can we post the podcast to YouTube? We do have several of our podcasts posted on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. All yes. you have to do is search for them, and they're there. Yep. Um, it's just the audio. There's no video That's component right. to mm -hmm. it. Our chosen tool just recently added a video component, and we've discussed ways to possibly post those video versions in some format. may not be YouTube. maybe on the Discord channel. maybe on Patreon. We haven't really come up with a solid game plan yet, but it's an option to us now that's a lot easier to do. Um, previously, it was recording video and audio and mm -hmm. audio again in different sources and trying to right. put it all together. It was a very difficult right, thing sure. to do Yep. Uh, for very little return. Um, I see some people saying uh, listen to podcasts every once in a while before finding you guys, but uh, not regularly. That's Miss So. Um, Kun Meng says, do you guys recommend one to start with or just start with the most recent Pac-Man Monopoly episode? Kun Meng, I just start with the most recent one. Yeah. Um, there are plenty there to go back and listen to it anytime you want, if you like what you hear in one of them. That's what I would suggest. Make sure you like the one mm -hmm. that you hear first. And it's worth, you know, you going through the back catalog. We have some people I know who they heard episode oh, number yeah. 91 and went back through and started the other, over. Yep. you know, 180. And yeah. the numbering so, system is a little misleading. 91. And then there are two podcasts labeled 91 because there's an original, like current events podcast. And then there's the backtrack. That's right. Yep. And they're both. I would say as your first one, do not pick our Dewey Decimal System. I was about to say you should absolutely try the Dewey Decimal System. <laughs> <laughs> what someone said to me might have been marcus actually who's in the, in the stream right now he said when i heard you do that one now i know you could do a show about anything uh john arbor says That's i listen true. to a ton of podcasts mostly sports and retro gaming favorite and the only one that i'm a patreon member of oh damn oh, thank you thank you we appreciate you absolutely so i'm playing octopus which oh, is that, uh, oh, kind of cool looking. Yeah, I just uh, minor Tom podcasts are not live; they're recorded and released. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, if they're edited, I mean, you know, yeah. we would like to think the only, we're that good, but yeah, we're not. <laughs> the only way to do a live podcast would be a live stream on a platform that has it. I don't know of any podcast platforms that do a live stream that aren't possibly professional level, but I don't think there's even that many of those. Most people record ahead of time, and then there's an editor kinds of people that what well, i think those of you who do listen to our here. podcast and who are on the stream now i would assert and i think i said early on that when all three of us are in this live stream it's not unlike the dynamic we have on the podcast we're mm -hmm. we have topics yeah, we are talking so. about but we're also cutting up and messing with each other 
Yep. It's uh, very much the same thing, just without me playing a game. <laughs> uh, Kung Ming says, sounds like the one to start with, Dewey Decimal. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly right. Oh, I just ran into that tentacle. That was a bad idea. Minor Tom says, how about YouTube podcasts? Yeah, that's a thing that people do, and some of them do do them live. I yep. don't consider that a podcast. That's a live stream because it's We're video content. It's, it's a live yeah. talk show, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Yep. Not that it that's not something we could do and would be fun. We just, that hasn't been a thing we have tackled yet. Mm -hmm. um, we did the live streams a long time ago, um, and we just, we just now become, have become really regular with these live streams doing two, three, or four a month. So I think as we're getting more and more into these things, we can uh, do them on a more regular basis. Maybe do one with all three of us on video or something, mm -hmm. but it takes a little bit of planning. It certainly does. Yeah. So I moved on to Oil Panic. Oh, how was Octopus? It was not good. <laughs> it was fine. It was fine. We played it. I I saved some stuff. and So Oil Panic. Wow, I guess it's leaking oil. Oh, there's a guy running around. I guess I'm going to have to give him my oil. Oh, crap. So I, I'm controlling the guy at the top is what I'm doing. Just moving left and right. Looks like my bucket has a finite amount it can hold. A um, couple of new updates from the chat. Yes. Tetris Boy 9 says. Nope, you dropped out. Dropped off, John. That's George. Yeah. Sorry? Can you hear me now? You, you cut yeah, out for just a second. You're back now. Yep. Okay. Yep. Uh, Tetris Boy 9 says when, the super, when is the Super Impulse Micro Arcade Oregon Trail? When is uh, it? You're asking what is the review? I'm guessing he's asking when is the review. Uh, uh, Miss So says the three of you together is lightning in a bottle. Seriously, great chemistry with each other on here and the podcast. And yeah. my third update is that my McDonald's is arrived, so I'm eating French fries. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so first to to uh, to Miss So, thank you very much. You know, we've had people say that they uh, they like that we're three very different people, whereas a lot of you have three identical nerds that had the same life experience and stuff. So I think that helps us a lot. But I, I'm glad you appreciate the, the, what we're doing. Thank you. And oh, I just dumped oil out. And Aaron uh, Clark says he just joined our Patreon. Oh, thank you. Awesome. Thank you, Aaron. Absolutely. I'm That's not, cool. Thank you. There, dump the oil. There, get it. There we go. He's got it. Yeah, and I think that's the one thing, too, because we all, like, were pretty much nerds as kids, but different kinds of nerds. Different I kinds think. of nerds. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, George had the the, the, the the kind of the jock role in school, even though, you know, he enjoyed nerdy stuff, and you were kind of the city, I was kind of in the country. Yeah, so it's, uh, different stuff happens. All right. Yeah, for me, it was a, it was an evolution into my nerdhood. I didn't start out that way, yep. but I, you always I have embraced it. You were just denying it to yourself, you know? Well, you're always a nerd, you just didn't know it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I was the kid who when I was playing basketball on the court in middle school one time, and one of the kids who was considered the nerd kid was uh, railing about computers to one of his friends. And I said, Oh, computers are a fad. They won't last another year. <laughs> so that worked out well. Good job, Bill Gates. <laughs> so, so now you're making a living at it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Lucky for you, you were wrong. <laughs> uh, Greg Snark says you should put your podcast on DVD. Oh, geez. Again, it's an Same audio podcast. DVD players? <laughs> That's right. DVD is like streaming if you don't have the internet, right? <laughs> All right, I moved on to Parachute now. More sharks. Um, Looks pretty dangerous. Minor Tom is asking to go about Spatterhouse. Um, we're, <laughs> I think that's one we've talked about, right, John? If you ask that's again. <laughs> <laughs> Splatterhouse, we're aware you would like to see Splatterhouse. Tetris Boy definitely wants the Super Impulse Micro Arcade Oregon Trail and Papa Shot review. Yeah, th those both those both came from Super Impulse, uh, and they're they're on our backlog of stuff. We're, we're we're literally we're trying to evaluate what we do based on what the kind of demand for search is, and so you know they're out there. We will do them. Were you not? Kung Meng says he sees there's an episode about BGs, and he couldn't help but notice the album in Mo's background. That's because. Mm -hmm. HBO reached out to us and asked us to um, talk about that Ooh, BG shark. documentary. We're a little bit of a big deal. We're yeah. Little... Humble brag. We had HBO <laughs> reaching out to. Yeah, HBO. 
Tom Cruise always thought me it's a bad idea to name drop. <laughs> but they did send us some products. They sent us some BG albums and some posters that we gave away, yeah. I think. Yes, we did. Matter of fact, everybody, hopefully people got them. <laughs> they did, yeah. Yep. Yeah, John we... Arbor says he was like me. He embraced his inner nerd later in life and haven't looked back. Good on you, John. Yeah, good for you. We made it. We're up into the P's. Pinball. Marcus is says next. the uh, backtracks are awesome. Minor Tom, you're. Thank you, Marcus. You're trying to get Splatterhouse into our heads, but you're not doing it in the time old tradition of uh, it, like subliminal. It's, it's not real subtle, you're right? Very, right. <laughs> you're doing more of the you're are gonna, we there yet method. You're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna put Splatterhouse on my shit list, is what you're gonna do. <laughs> and that's not where you want it. Okay. No. All right. Here we go. This is pinball. This should be pretty simple. So it's pinball, right? Whoa. There are a lot of damn bumpers on that's that. That's a thing. lot of. That's well, no, that's where all there. the balls. That's where the ball could be, right? That's that's the, L, that's, the, that's, the, that's the LCD okay. all lit. So here we go. Oh, cute. All right. I like the stripes on the on the bezel. Oh, how did I gutter that? There's only four okay. places the ball can be. I hate the upper <laughs> flippers. Charlie's the gutter. <laughs> What's what you say, George? I missed that. I hate the upper flippers. The up, the table oh, up flippers. Upper. Yeah. Yeah, God, I hate those. Those look terrible. It's definitely got to use your imagination a little bit more here to see the motion. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Pinball is such a fast moving thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go on record and say I'm done with that one. I mean, it's, it's pinball. We've seen it done a million times and a million times better than that, too, I think. Tetris Boy says, do you know that Super Impulse Wacky Packaging Series 2 minis are at Target right now? You know, they oh. told us they were going to send us some of those ahead of time. Yeah. Oh, I know they're there. And I also know that I'm not going to buy any more. Yep. Yeah. There's been a lot of controversy about those, right, John? Because apparently it yeah. was on purpose, not possible to complete a full set you had to buy exclusives That's from right. other stores and i could even forgive them saying that oh they're not all at target but it wasn't even that not they weren't all on the market oh really no so the checklist you could not fill the checklist no matter how much you spent at launch you would not get a full set period wow yeah and that really turned me off of it Bad I, idea. And I like Super Impulse. Or at least, or at least, or at least say, you know, tell me up front. Tell me, okay, right. You, they, they'll do a, 30, get... do a checklist with 33 on it. And tell me that's what's out right. there. But yeah. And Series 2 will come out and blah, blah, blah. And you can get all the, you know, the other ones. All right. So Popeye, this looks like another catching game, maybe. Let's see. Uh, Kun Mang and Miss O are referencing that Bee Gees documentary about the uh, the stadium album burning. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That was in the yeah. documentary, yeah. What was it called? The It was named after their song, Bee Gees, How Do I Mend a Broken Heart? Or How Can I Mend yes. a Broken Heart? Yeah. yeah, that was the name of the documentary. Mm -hmm. Yep. Ooh, Brutus. Is it Brutus or Bluto? I always Bluto. get that wrong. Bluto. Well, Bluto. actually, his name changed, didn't it? I, I don't know. Didn't That's they? why I'm asking. Yeah, I think it was. they changed it to Brutus. I'm not sure why. Hmm. It was Bluto in the movie, so that's what I'm going for. Right, yep. yep. I think it's yep. classic. Oh, spinach, spinach. That's yeah, a basic catching game. That's fine. Oh, Plague Doc says he's heading out. It was cool to see Game & Watch is not familiar. Plague Doc, you got to come up with yeah, a lie. Tell us, you what, what is the ridiculous reason you have to leave the stream? We want to know. Yeah. Get it easy. Come on. Go big, or, go big or go home. The game that Donkey Kong was supposed to be, but Nintendo couldn't get the license. That's right. Yep. Really? Yep. Uh, okay, French fries are done. It's on the chicken. <laughs> All right, Popeye. I think I've seen you. Let's see. What's it? What's after? Peter Tom says, "Bye. I have to go. I need to go to the Mushroom Kingdom. Want me to say hi to Mario? Yes, please. Yes, please. Would you? Yeah. And his brother, if he's there. And you tell him for me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you tell that some bitch. <laughs> thanks for being here. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks. Nice to talk to you. Oh, what happened here? Oh. I got extra nuggets in my nuggets. That's that. That sounds painful. I was supposed to only get six. I have like twelve and a double. <laughs> they have a shot for that. <laughs> you can get that cleared up. <laughs> so this is just called rain shower. So there's raindrops coming down. You gotta not let them hit the clothes. Because I'm trying to dry some clothes out. It's laundry day. 
And all I could do is if I am on one of the clotheslines, I hit my button and it will shift it for to or fro, depending on where it is. It's but, funny how like the uh, the the character animation mm -hmm. is the same for like so many of these games. For all these, well, that character, like the the the, the screen I bring up in between games, is that uh -huh. character who used over and over and over. Yeah. I can tell you this is an actual real life situation in the Philippines. <laughs> Dodging the rain during laundry. Yep. During laundry, when they're hanging it out to dry. Is that right? Because the Philippines it rains so much during certain times of the year. Oh, I can. Yeah, I heard. So that's good. I move this one. This was pretty simple. This this is not a multitasker's nightmare. Even though it's on two screens, it doesn't feel. This is, yeah, famous last words. Of course, I'd say it's not, not so bad. Then I got squished. But oh, he goes and rings it out. Look, he's oh, he's getting the water out of it and hanging it back up. That's neat. Just a little bit of animation goes a long way. Just to add a little bit of that cutscene. I like that. I'm guessing this one came later. Yeah, it has an alarm. I don't know what the date on it is. Some of these overlays put the date on them, but not all. So this one doesn't have it. Oh no. It's funny because you think of all the arcade games that you would have hoped to have seen in this line, but right. you couldn't because of licensing. Like, yeah. you couldn't see a Pac-Man in this no, or no, no. Missile Command or anything like that. How are we doing? We're doing good, actually. We only have about 40 more. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> no, we have about 10 more. About 10 more. We might try. get away with staying the stream boss. We might. We well, yeah. well, we haven't got to Z yet, so all right. So... I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish my dinner, though. Why not? Why well, because the street fight in. Then I have to stop eating. Oh, I see. All right. So this was Safe Buster. Hmm. Huh. I don't know. All right. Well, let's find out. Yeah, Kung Bang says he remembers it happened. At, I think, wasn't it Wrigley Field that they did that at? Yeah, or was did. it? Okay. No, it, was, it was Wrigley, yeah. I'm just... Hate is gonna hate. Well, that <laughs> that didn't work. Well, no, the safe. I guess that's. Am I supposed to protect the safe or supposed to break the safe down? I don't know which one. <laughs> well, you're the safe buster, so. Well, that right. That implies that. You should be breaking. The oh, safe. you know, so I can hold more than one bomb in my little bomb tube, and I'm just uh, I'm dumping it out as soon called? as. Yes, that's exactly. See, on oh, the gold is back there on the the screen. That's cool. All right, so let me catch these. And on one side is a fire, and one side is not. So I wonder. Let me catch. There's one bomb, two bombs, three, three. bombs, and I'll dump it out. Okay, so that seems like I did something right. Did I get points for that? Anybody? Um, seven points seven? right now. I'll, I'll see if that. <laughs> it would have before. I have no idea. You're getting one for every one you catch. It looks like, and then maybe one for the dump. Nope, just for one that you catch. Right, so I'm going to try to pour it in the fire side now and see if that makes a difference. They blow up? Yeah, it looks about the same. At least they yeah, didn't blow up the safe. So I must be trying to save the safe. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. And then it blows up. All right, I get it. At least they added the little animations between them, which I think really adds a lot to these little games. They don't need a, they don't need a lot, but a little bit, you know? I'm always concerned when I get a chicken nugget that's a double that's blended together. <laughs> what, what do you think is happening? What do you think is taking well, place? <laughs> I don't know, because it's not like they're just simply, you know, like two of them that were close to each other in the fry oil. Uh -huh. I mean, they're actually like they were no life, no uh -oh. fun. together somewhere. Don't you know that you're a Sexy out. cyan. No, oh. Oh. Yeah. oh, and it took a little off the, the power boss meter. Oh, did it? Just a so little. Subscribe, Scout Two. Just a little. No life, no fun. And Wumpkin just subscribed. Don't you know oh, that you're wow. a you know, oh, I don't. Wumpkin, I don't know if you're in the stream or not, but if you are, well, hope so. <laughs> Down to nine fifty. Hmm. Okay. This is Snoopy oh. Tennis. Up down. Kung Bang says he looked it up. It was Comiskey Park. So White Sox. Ah. Oh, White Sox. Okay. Not the Cubbies. Yeah, Cubbies have more respect than that. <laughs> so is this our? Is this our first or second Peanuts branded one? We had we had Donald first. Duck one, right? We had a Donald Duck. Yeah, we had, yeah, we had Disney. Peanuts. We have not. I have not seen any Peanuts one yet. I don't think. And really, the only place you would have seen it would have been the C's Charlie Brown. Yeah, probably so. Yeah. Right? So Snoopy Tennis. All right. 
Because it's not like there's going to be Linus Love Blanket or something like <laughs> no, that. No, probably not. Yeah. God, I hope not. <laughs> right. It had been a P for Peanuts or Snoopy or Charlie Brown. You're right. There's no... Miss O says George got a mutant nugget. There's no... Yeah, but no. I'm eating it. It's right. not like it's real chicken anyway, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. It is. It's a slurry. <laughs> it's a pink-formed slurry. Uh, don't, don't, I, don't, I don't eat anything that's a slurry. I have a rule. Don't disrespect. Oh, Lucy... You ignorant beep. <laughs> she hit it back at me. Do you see that? Of course she did. That's Lucy's job. Well, she can't pull the football out from under you, so. I like the pow when he hits it. It just adds a little bit of, see? Right. Charlie Brown hits it. It more matches the. Yeah, yeah. The comic strip. That's great. Oh, I almost hit Snoopy in the head. Aaron says he loves Snoopy. One of his first antsy art pieces was Snoopy and Woodstock. Wow. Yeah. Nice. I'd be interested in they're seeing been, that. They've been back in the day. Yeah. Doing antsy art. Look, there she is again. What the uh-huh. hell is your malfunction? Look at, that, look at that smile. She's like, ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> and she did it again. That's right. Yep. She's true to character. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she's. Uh, Andrew Bloom is asking what program we're playing this on. We're playing this on MAME, mm-hmm. the multi arcade machine emulator. They have recently introduced support for the Game & Watch series. So all 80 of them are supported. Yep. Now there's another one that is kind of in the Game and Watch series, but we're not going to look at it here. Called Bass Time. It's actually a like genuinely useful in the real world thing to help you, like all farmers' almanac, figure out when the fish will bite. Like you put the oh, season, the really? time of year. It's not a game at all. It's like a a spreadsheet it's on like a chip. Encyclopedia. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. There's a little form you fill out. Oh, you got to move Snoop. Oh. Yeah. It was mm. close. It was close. Oh, there's. Oh, you. Grr. I don't like her. I mean, I never liked her, but now I like her less. Well, I'm doing all right at this one. Yeah, you're not doing bad. The animation is actually very good in this one. The, very the, cute. Yeah, the extra, again, the, the pows and stuff yeah. really, really add to it, I think. Snoopy's adorable. What's, Woodstock's nest is up there for some reason. Yeah. Hope it's got to be out. one of the later models because it's got the color mm-hmm. around. Yeah, color background. Right. So, you know, I think I've seen enough of it, but I want to see. Yeah, oh, he's there. up there. So he, he, Snoopy he does something. Yeah. I wonder if that has to do with the clock. Because sometimes there are parts of the screen that are only for the clock function, but I don't see it. So, Like maybe he might be the alarm? Right, maybe so. Yep, yep, that kind of thing. Ah, okay. Yeah, quite, quite possible. All right. Kun Meng says Lucy deserves an egg on her. Yeah, she does. We have just a few more. Oh, here's the second one of these vertical ones we talked about. Remember, we looked at that one vertical one before. And I, oh, yeah, yeah. And I said there was more than one. So here we have the second vertical one to look at. Well, I better get to eat, and I still have a McDouble cheeseburger to finish. Man, you're making Jeez. me hungry. Oh, you're making me hungry. <laughs> well, it's part of that two for three thing, right? So, so you have to eat more. I'm gonna have to take... get two objects for three dollars. Take a drive. So I always get a six-piece McNugget and a McDouble with no mustard, no pickle. Oh goodness! I... Kind of looks like a Cubert spitball Sparky, doesn't he, Mo? Doesn't he? Completely off topic. Is anybody else using the McDonald's phone app to get deals when you go to those places? Uh, I have historically. I used I... it today. They had a. 24-hour coupon for a free drink if you spent at least a dollar. That's not tough. Mm-mm. Oh, T2! What's happening? Take it down. Oh, he just did 25 bucks. That's oh, my goodness. What is that going to no, do? It's not, it's still, no, it's not. It's still... No, it's still red. Has it registered well, yet? Well, it hasn't registered yet. Oh, has it registered yet? I don't think no, so. No, not until you see his, his star flash. Oh, suspense now. Oh, I know. I know. 950 is where we were at when we had our... After our two subscribers popped in. I'm there it scared. is. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's so close. Oh my goodness. We have a little bit of life left. 100 hit points. Oh That's my goodness. Nothing. Anybody who jumps in now is going to get that for super cheap. Is going to become the stream boss. It's like a hot potato sort of deal, huh? Oh my it is. goodness. T2 really took a whack at it. And T2, T2 is like, we are sealing this deal. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I am not going to spend 25 and not get it. <laughs> I want to see what happens. I'm watching. I want to see too, <laughs> right? Let's pause the game for a minute. Who cares about that game? We're playing a bigger game There's now. Something's happening. 
Oh my goodness! There he is. He's the boss. Wow. Oh. And there's your fanfare. Congratulations. T2. <laughs> Oh my Marcus goodness! Out. Look at that! Marcus immediately five dollars. Oh my <laughs> goodness! T two, T two, you are now our stream boss. Welcome, congratulations! I played your fanfare there. I know you enjoy music, so that should work out well for you. Okay. Now, first of all, you're in charge of the remainder of the stream, so you'll tell us when we're done with what we're doing, and when you want to go to the next. We're gonna go back to an old game. We can do that. Also. Uh, we talked a little bit offline that I think uh, I think you have earned yourself a, a free item from our merchandise store. Yeah. Yeah, guys? Uh, yeah. What do you think? What, uh, yeah, at minimum. What do you think T2 has earned for his generous contributions? I got some extra nuggets over here. Do you have the um, mutant one? We could go with the mutant nugget. We could go uh, with the mutant nugget. He already ate it. <laughs> I don't know. I, mm. It might be a thing that we need to get T2's opinion of what he might like. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know, maybe if he could post some possibilities of things he might like in the chat. He's the boss, really. I mean, he should right. tell us, really, what he thinks he should get. Quite honestly. I think so. T2, should we continue with this game or move on to the next one? Let me know what, you, what you'd like to do. Mc MC Fawful is back, just in time to see a new stream boss. We have a boss. The grand and glorious T2. Marcus <laughs> tried to steal it from him. He tried to I know. I snipe that. him. Marcus was like, right there. Marcus was oh. like, mm, trying to snag it. Marcus is like, ain't hey, my first time playing the game. <laughs> Kung Meng says, get him a shamrock shake. It's that time of year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you guys, please they're, pay they're close attention. Uh, T2 would like me to continue. I will continue. He yes, does. sir. No okay. problem. And you let me know when it's time to move on to the next game, or if you'd like to select one we've already played, or you just let me know. Oh, that, there we go. That didn't work. Marcus is a ninja. He thought he was. Yep. So you guys, please pay close not attention. Interested in the Shamrock Shake? No. All right. There'll be no more discussion of the Shamrock Shake in the stream. <laughs> is that shake <laughs> i know we're not supposed to talk about it but i'm just curious we're not talking about it i was very clear t2 is the stream boss and he is not interested in the shamrock shake <laughs> greg would like us to move on i understand your feelings greg you have to take that up with t2 he's currently the stream boss and he'll let us know when it's time to move on in the meantime i'm getting better at spitball sparky so I'm and by okay take with that. that up with T2, we mean ask very politely. That's right. You do not disrespect the stream boss. <laughs> there are things you do in this world, things you do not do, and that's definitely out right up there. They do not do. That's a do not do. Thank you, T2, for your generosity. Congratulations on your stream bossedness. <laughs> that's now a word. Oh, I think so. And not that I'm advocating this at all because I would never advocate anything against our boss, but he does have 27,000 hit points to be whacked away at. Is it 2,700? Oh, 2,700, sorry. I mean, that's, it's, a little, it's a little different. T2 is good. A lot of extra zeros right now. So. So T2 he, is good for you to move on, just so you know. Very, yes, sir. No problem. I'll do it right now. So one interesting <laughs> thing to know is that now, any contributions toward GXG in the stream that take place are going to be attacking T2 to try to steal his Steam Boss crown. Except for T2, who would be healing himself if he donated. If someone were getting close to taking his Stream Boss crown, his contributions will heal the Stream Boss meter at this point. Interesting little stuff. Something to try. <laughs> okay. So, uh, if it pleases T2, I have moved on then to Squish. Uh, let me know if that does not meet with your approval. Otherwise, we're going to continue on with Squish. Uh, I don't know how to play this game. There's a spider, and there's guys at the bottom, and I'm not sure what's happening. But I did play it a little bit earlier. So what I think is happening is the bottom where I'm moving is a maze, and the top Holy is cow. a spider. Keep in mind all the cells are on right now. Uh, T2 says it pleases me. Thank you, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, just let me know if anything <laughs> changes. So, uh, yeah, so He's the great moody, huh? <laughs> the spider, yeah, exactly. The spider will tell me which direction uh, to go. It feels like it's going to be a Simon Says kind of game. A little bit. 
a little bit. Speaking of the Stream Boss T2, I mean, since he earned the title, I just want to just, it's time to talk a little bit about the Stream Boss. I mean, T2 not only is a patron, not only is he a supporter, a member here on YouTube, not only is he a huge contributor to our Discord dialogue over there, but he's a moderator in Discord. He does a lot to help out Gen X grown up. He is, he is, I mean, I have a right and a left hand. He's my third hand. <laughs> Or something, but yeah, no, he, he a huge. <laughs> the, part. the room goes silent. <laughs> you know, you know what I, mean? I didn't. I didn't say third leg. I said third hand. So, but yes, John and his balls. <laughs> he's, a, he's a huge player in the Gen X grown-up universe, and we would not want to do it without him. So, and so I thought it was so fitting that he would become the stream boss. And partially, I'm telling you this to to explain how grateful I am to Tom. But partially, I know it kind of grinds Marcus's gears to hear me speak so kindly of someone who's not him. So, just throw that out there. <laughs> all right let's try squish so he's saying down so the world is moving down and so i'm running through the maze oh now the maze is moving up so i, I can't get i don't want to get squished see now it's moving oh left or right oh, it's, it's, so everything's sliding to the right see i'm trying to keep up so it's like a giant maze it's moving left now I really like how they, they simulated the full screen scrolling by just moving the tiles around. That's kind of interesting. Oh, Aaron Clark, I think, just became a YouTube member. Did you, Aaron? Oh, yes. wow. He's got the little cherry. He says, welcome. Oh, to fantastic. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you so Thank much. You, Aaron. That is great. We are still exploring what great things we can do for our YouTube members. We do exclusive community posts. Uh, we, uh, there's a, a couple of exclusive videos, at least one exclusive video I know that we did with Mo and George eating hot beans. It's out there for <laughs> yeah. you. And of course you have those exclusive emoji. You have those, ooh, I got squish. That's why it's called squish. <laughs> That's. Uh, yeah, I remember that hot bean day. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> Well, let me just check with the stream boss to see if he would like me to try the beep game or move on to the next title or what he would prefer. In the meantime, I am at his command. Ah, so T2 said, I really dig the Waka's design. Maybe a t-shirt he's expressing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, B game. B game. No problem. I think I have to, I have to die maybe. Oh, I can reset actually. I'm going to reset. Let's see what happens in the B game. All right, so this is a B game. Aaron says, figured I'd go all out YouTube Patreon. Thank you very much for that, sir. Your That's name really will awesome. be mentioned much in appreciated. on the next podcast. Absolutely. Yeah, thank Not you. The next, the next one we record. The next next one. But, yeah. <laughs> the next one in our universe, right? But thanks to John, we are regular with those, so you know it's coming. <laughs> yep. <laughs> I got to head out. I'm going to go take a drive to punch a giant, says Marcus. Oh, okay. Good okay. Luck with that, Marcus. Well, be very careful. Be careful, be, be careful. The T2 no. stream boss could help you out, maybe. Yeah, yeah. be careful punching those giants because, you know. Oh, goodness. So the, punch back. I feel like the B game is just, like, faster. It, it changes directions more quickly. That's what I'm, I'm feeling. And the key really is to stay, try to stay middle of the screen because you don't want to get stuck in the corner and get squished. That's interesting. I like it. Hence so I guess the, the down that the spider is doing is how the maze is moving at you? That's right. The direction the maze is going to flow. Yeah. That's. Now it's going to flow left. Mm -hmm. There we go. That's neat. Uh, T2, lame. Move on, please. Fuck this. <laughs> Fuck this game. The stream boss has spoken. No more of that game. Moving on. No problem. Thank you, stream boss. I'm on it. Let's see. The next one I have is Super Mario Brothers, believe it or not. Now, this might be the one that somebody was talking about earlier because it says Crystal. And I, I want to say that somebody um, mentioned that earlier. Mentioned. Uh, that they, they had a Game & Watch that was a Super Mario Brothers and that you had levels and stuff. Ooh, what am I moving? Oh, that's the instructions. Don't need those. Just put that down. Okay, here we go. If it pleases the stream boss, I present to you the crystal screen version of Super Mario Brothers. But see, now this is different Super Mario Brothers. They're not in the Milwaukee Lever and Shirley factory. 
No, that's a nice no. hitter. You're exactly right. The measles. The measles. <laughs> Pots and River Incorporated. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right. Oh, T2's got something to say. What's going on? Uh, I don't want to miss out he on the He and boss. Marcus are discussing about punching the giant. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep. All right. So uh, I didn't set the clock here. I guess that's probably all right. <laughs> all right, so let's give it a shot. <laughs> oh, your distance is counting down. That's interesting. How far I have to go. So I can jump and move, and I can I can move when I'm in the air. Oops, that's falling off. But if you fall through the hole, you're yeah, done. fall through the hole. And it's level one one. Okay. Kunmang says this is Super Mario Brothers. Facts. The big smiley face. It is Guess that's a good thing. It's kind of super. Uh, T2 points out that the sounds have been pretty decent on these games, especially the donkey. Considering. Yeah, considering what they had to work with, right? Yeah. Kung Meng, will there be a flagpole at the end? I don't know. It depends know. on if it's up the manhole or not. Find out. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like on this one, the object would be to try and stay as high up as possible. Because you never you know when you're going to get stuck, yeah. Oh, there's, oh, there's there was a mushroom. There. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh, I got a bunch of points. Your points, yeah. I didn't grow or anything, but I got points. You're almost down there. You're down to eight on the distance. Four, three, two, one. And you're still having to survive, it looks like. Very oh, there's the princess. Oh, look oh. at So the distance was a little misnomer. You hit zero long before you got there. They got me in the last room kind of thing, I guess. Right. No, no flagpole. Well, the princess was there. There might be a flagpole involved. I don't know. Wow. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> what? What did I say? Nothing. You, nothing oh, you, you, that, you can't go that high. You can't go any higher no. than that. Oh, well, that, you can't. You the, just can't get... You know, stuck in the cross. I there. think the blue line is an upper barrier. I don't think I can go above it. You can't go above the blue line. Yeah, yes. yeah. So I got I got stuck up there. Yeah. This would be a very fun game. It's not Super Mario traditional. Yeah, but yeah. This would be a very fun game. Well, and it's pressuring you to move forward, which is very un Mario like, right? True. Yeah. Kind of has a little of a, of a Flappy Bird feel even though it's not that same yeah. mechanic. You know what I find very interesting is that it delivered on a slight, it's a slightly different level using the same graphics. So now it's, you know, the, the crosses mm -hmm. are a little different. Oh, the boss said something. I, I don't want to miss it. What did the boss say? Uh, he says, uh, you picked the right castle, picked. Oh, you picked the right correct. castle. Yep. And then he checked his style uh, no guide. Spell says, no Goombas, Koopas, or even a Bowser. No, nothing to fight. It's, it's all, it's you against the world is really what it is. Yeah. Right. And you have to go up there. Or you'll never make that jump, right? Yeah, yep. exactly. This yeah, is, there's. It seems like there's a singular path. This is this is all right. And oh. you're at zero distance again. No. Nope. And there's the princess. You nope. got to get up top. Stand by for the flagpole. Oh, look, that, came, that moved over so you could yep. come up to her. That's interesting. Cool. All right, we could try game B, or we can move on and see what the boss wants to do. In the meantime, I will continue. Oh, what we got going on here? Oh, a bonus like level. A bonus level, yeah. But I got stuck. You were trying to get over to her. But I failed, yeah. Uh, it may not be a bonus. It may just be the level you have to do right now. I'm, I'm not doing well. You fell through. Huh. Thought you had a free movement there. B game, please, T2 says. B game. All right, so let's see. B game. Let's uh, go back to the clock. And now B game. Uh, trying. Insta death. Oh, no. My apologies to the stream boss. There is no B game on this game. See it? Oh. There's just the clock and one. the game. Oh, a million. Oh, my goodness. Please forgive me, stream boss. I offered <laughs> you the B game. There was no B game to be had. So sorry. So we should either move on or play the A game again. I'm going to play the A game just to not upset the stream boss. He wanted to see more of this. So I'm going to continue. <laughs> so what's the... I guess one of those buttons up there says time. That means what? You would just see the time? And the other one says game. You would just play the single game? Yeah, just yeah, just play. Yeah, exactly. So if I go, I hit the time button, and that so goes to time. So it puts you in time mode. Yeah. Gotcha. Yep. 
Thank you, Stream Boss. Or, yeah, or if you'd like to see how the alarm works, I can help you with that. Whatever you'd like to see, <laughs> just let me know. So let, let me. We have a, maybe we have six or seven of these left. I think we're we're getting close to the end. Oh, uh, Minor Tom just got back to the Mushroom Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> Appropriately, we're playing in your world right now. And you can't smash anything with your head. I've tried to jump up and hit the things above me. It's really just a, a fast-moving maze is the, the situation. <laughs> Stream Boss said an accurate time wouldn't be a bad thing. No problem. <laughs> do you have a time zone preference, sir? <laughs> I'm in Eastern. We can do that or whatever pleases you. I see it's about 9.39 according to my clock. With the delay in the stream, I'm going to set that forward by one. <clears throat> Eastern, please, he said. Six, seven, eight. We'll go about there, I think, and that should do it. There we go. Accurate time. It So mote it be done. <laughs> His will made real. Kunmeng says at least this maze only moves in one. And that's true. Yeah. Unlike the, the squish, right? That moves you. Yeah. Scared you. It's not unlike squish, actually. It's a single direction squish a little bit, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. And Please set the alarm. Like the alarm. Oh, oh, no. Nope. Gotcha. Gotcha. No problem. So set the alarm. Let's see what the key for alarm is. Uh, alarm is keyboard zero. Got it. So we're going to set it for what time did he say? 943. I've got to push this button 43 times, but I'll get there. <laughs> <laughs> Better move fast. It's already. And every time I push the button, the maze moves. <laughs> I saw that. There we go. All right. Alarm set. Okay, cool. I'll just be playing and waiting for the alarm to happen. Oh, there is, look, there's a little Bowser up at the top. I didn't oh. notice him before. <laughs> that might be because of the alarm. Tom asked, what was the fanfare? I think he means for T2 becoming the boss. Yeah, it was a lovely fanfare. Yes. I mean, I could play it again if the stream boss insists, but otherwise I, I'm not going to presume that I should. Because it's his but fanfare. He it. He's the, it's his fanfare, not mine. It was my stream for the first two hours. I've lost that right. <laughs> oh, goodness! I fell. <laughs> T2, the reason he wants the alarm is he's curious if it's generic or sound from the game. Hmm. Good question. That's a good point. I don't know. I guess we'll find out in, what, about two minutes. Damn. So another thing off topic, I know uh, that I, I don't think I've talked to you guys about it. I actually spent this week catching up with Walking Dead from about a season and a half. Really? Back. Wow. Yeah. Huh. No more Rick Grimes, obviously. That was yep. where I kind of left off. But man, is this still a great series. Oh, and good. And they're doing more episodes in this season than they've done ever. They're going to do 22 episodes this season. I'm oh, glad to hear wow. that for you because I know that you kind of fell off that bandwagon. It wasn't doing it for you. It's good to go back to it and have it be good. That's mm -hmm. great. And especially because there's a couple of things. Now, I The reason why I got back into it was because I finally the last couple of comic books for The Walking Dead because, you know, the end of the comic book series. And I was holding on to them like you do with the Firefly episodes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I Save finally it. decided to read them. And oh. they were brilliant. I was crying at the end. The last panel was gorgeous. Um. But that last storyline is now starting to take shape in the TV show. So it's possible that they might be ending the traditional Walking Dead TV show. I do know that there is at least one, what? possibly three movies. We have an alarm. Slate. We have an alarm. Oh. Look at the little Bowser. <laughs> so cute. That's the alarm. All right. I hope it's okay. I'm going to end the alarm. I better wait and make sure it's okay. Sorry. Yeah, we better let T2 decide. Sorry. Oh, it stopped on its own. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. Hand check. I didn't touch it. <laughs> I didn't touch it. That's cool. So it was, it was kind of music-y. It wasn't just beep, beep, beep. Yeah. Fun but disappointing. I'm sorry. It's, 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 it's all I had available. <laughs> uh, you want to move on? It would be really interesting uh, if you could fix that. In let me know when you're ready to move on. Free to move on. All right. All right. Let's see what else we got. Cool. He, I got to say, for a stream boss, T2 has proved to be a benevolent stream boss. So I, he has I, so I'm, far. I'm okay with that. I, you know, I am surprised that the steam boss hasn't decided to force you to eat a yuck bean. They're not even <laughs> in the room. 
So I don't think that matters. Lucky, sir. lucky for They're me. In the house. <laughs> I yeah. Well, I mean that's that's factual. <laughs> I mean, thank, I want to want to go on record thanking thinking uh fanfare is unnecessary the air horns are always welcome <laughs> let me uh let me see if i can get the air horn for you stand by i'm pretty sure you know what i'm gonna replace the fanfare with the air horn actually that's what i'm gonna do stand by we're gonna make this happen for you oh george might need a hot bean though oh where would he even get a hot bean i he has don't measures. have any more yep. no i don't I gave them all away as soon as I realized. <laughs> as quick as possible. <laughs> <laughs> I'll eat the I'll eat the yuck beans all day long, but those hot beans, Mm-mm-mm. that's a health risk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. So, I'm working on it, stream boss. Stand by, I promise. I just okay. Fallen Dragonite is here. Hello, Fallen. Hey, Dragonite. Fallen Dragonite. Super chatter in our Discord channel. Yep. Yeah. Another big contributor. Thank you. Let's see. Let me just take a quick look and see what that's called. Here's the. Uh... Oh, there it is. Okay, I found it. No problem. All right. So we're going to replace this fanfare. No problem. Okay. Uh, standby stream, boss. <laughs> that is fun. <laughs> He has preferred the, the air horn. So there we go. MC Murr, also here. Welcome. Hey, Murr. All right. T2 so says George has avoided the wrath of the T2 for now. Fair enough. No. Oh, congratulations on that. <laughs> All right. So uh, we have. Greg Snark wants me to watch Game of Thrones. I watched that whole series. It was very good. Uh, ending was a bit disappointing and a bit rushed, but they kind of were forced into that. Tropical oh, Game of Thrones. Fish is the name were of it. Were they the forced? It, it felt forced to me. It felt like that final series felt like there were episodes to be had in that story i thought they just i didn't like the way they ended it to be quite honest but i know a lot of people didn't well and that's what i mean because Hmm. i felt like there was more that could have been done that could have made that ending feel better yeah this is kind of samey isn't it it's just work your way across get them from one aquarium to the other we played hospital yeah we yeah it is it's the what was that one called fire firefighting firefighting or something yeah i know yeah this is like baby hospital it's, it's <laughs> flaming orphanage is the name of that game <laughs> <laughs> miss so still hasn't seen the final season of game of so she's holding on to it like john does firefly i never I'm watched sure. a frame of it not because i'm averse to it it's just i didn't get into it right away and i feel like it's too much of a burden to get into like there's it's so really much not of that it bad, though. it's what five seasons six seasons it? yeah it's not bad Tell you what, I I, I can't quit the freaking Babylon 5 binge, though, right now. Oh, are you on that? Oh, man. Well, they have that 1080p remaster? I don't have the remasters, though. Oh. I only have, like, these crappy, like, 480s. I need to get the 1080p. You know a guy. (laughs) I do know a guy. (laughs) No, Miss So John has not seen the Goonies yet. Nope. Yeah, check with your Thunder the Barbarian hookup and see if he can help you out. I will do that. Yeah, and it looks great. I mean, literally, it's it's the best we've ever seen it because it wasn't 1080 when we watched it. No, no. You know, and so literally, it's never looked better. Get the oh fish on the floor. But it was awesome. Fish in on the that floor. There was something oh, that damn, Babylon the, Five did that. Oh we, damn! I'm sorry, but did you see the cat came and ate it and threw the fish bones back at me? Oh no, I didn't see oh, that. I see man. the cat's head down there. Oh, That's funny. dang it! Sorry, I'm sorry. Anyway, sorry. Please continue. Oh, no, I was just saying B5, it had an element to it that John and I certainly appreciated a lot, and that's that they used Amiga 500s with video toasters that's for right. all the yep. CGI scenes, and yep. we were just enamored with that at the time, I remember. And it looks great. God, it probably took, like, forever oh, yeah. to do those two, you yeah? know? Well, they had, I think I saw that they had 20 of them on set in the studio or wherever they were doing that yeah. work. Well, they had those so Raptors running, one. those render engines, those Raptor engines, they had a bunch of those. Yeah. Oh, here comes the fish. Here, here comes the kite, the cat. Here he goes. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. And watch the bones come back. Oh, my goodness. That's funny. Oh, that's worse than the splat baby. You know what? I say that is very true to what a cat would do. <laughs> yep. Yep. I'm eating it, and here's for you to clean it up. Yep. Here, here's Clark the bones. Says the Star Fury is one of my favorite sci-fi tips. It's really awesome. And Aaron 
if I don't know if you're into 3D printing or not, but there are some great Star Fury models on Thingiverse. Are there? Oh, oh yeah. You know, I, I would think it's that they're better for the um, for the resin 3D printers than the FDMs, but they're really? still awesome. Miss So says the cat part is funny, and you know what? I really love how the Star the Star Furies how they launch, how they T2 return. Does be any different, sir? Oh, I don't know. We have, Let's we have find out. T2 request. Nope. Not me. I'm moving on. I'm getting out of this. Switching to time. Game B. Let's find out. Well, it starts a little slower, but I think I was pretty deep into the level game A. Oh, the fish go both directions now. Oh, wow. Oh, good. Gravy. See, they're coming back. Ooh, Fallen Dragonite says there's a Firefly mod capsule chibi... Chubby, I don't know how to pronounce that. Patreon, along with most of the cast. Now that's cool. I've found a couple of crappy fireflies on Thingiverse. Yeah, there, no, there's no good ones on there. Fallen Dragon, I might need to get you to post some of this stuff in Discord later on. I would yeah, be we, very we interested. We have a whole 3D model Discord channel. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, George, I also started watching Clarice. By the way, how do you like that? I like it. I like it. It's it's, oh. it's 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 very um realistic in the sense that like you would be totally screwed if that happened to in the you. same situation yeah yeah like the fact that like, people don't just don't bounce back from something like that easily right <laughs> and the fact that she's not bouncing back easily i'm like that's kind of cool you know when did yeah, they do a good job with that. how does somebody knock a couple of hit points off the stream boss what's going on up there uh that was oh well, a, and marcus well, had marcus a, did when he that's right marcus had a contribution no, was, right after marcus did but that didn't take any points it was aaron clark becoming a member Oh, uh, yeah, membership. Uh, yeah, that's right. I think. That would make sense, though. Disrespecting the stream boss by becoming a member. Yeah, Aaron Clark was the last <laughs> thing. Got it. Got it. Rolled up. Cool. Yeah. I, I, I forgot that that uh, impacts the, the boss as well. Yeah. So going both directions adds a definite additional kind of little... Minor Tom Focus says, is T2 thing. the boss of Gen X? Is he beat the Gen X boss? So he's the T2, is T2 the Gen X boss? He is the, he's the live stream boss. boss. He's the stream yes. boss, yep. He determines what happens in this stream. Yep. Oh, <laughs> he said membership will not kill the T2. That's what T2 said. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it. Oh, what, did I drop something? Uh, yep, oh, I dropped a fish. fish. Oh, no. Meow. Meow. Made the cat very happy. <laughs> That's, you see, that, that, it, it's dumb. All they really had to do was go beep and take away with life. Just to add a little animation like that to give it a little more cartoon character. That goes a long way in my book. wonder what the uh, discussions were, you know, in the coding labs on this, because they were very limited in what they could put in these chips, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Very finite space, so... Somebody had to say, we need a cat running across the bottom of the screen and throwing bones. And somebody had to be say, like, well, what well, do like, we sacrifice? Right, yeah, well, what, what are we going to not do? Right, mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, there's always so much space on the screen. Like, what if we use that little area at the bottom where the plants are? I'm like, okay, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, yeah, I'm sure there were discussions. Uh, T2 says, as much as I love aquariums, the presence of an unpunished cat scares and What's next? Moving on. Understood. Let's see what we've got. Oh, that reminds me. I still got a, my, uh, you some my food, food to eat? <laughs> I already finished my food. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I was All very right, quiet. We, we have three more. First one is uh, Carl. Snarky <laughs> says, George and Bo, I have all four seasons on it. DVD that shows how old I am. The DVD part or the Starsky and Hutch part? <laughs> <laughs> some from column A, some from column B. <laughs> All right, so we have Turtle Bridge, or Turtle Bridge, I guess. If that's, hmm. Is it a bridge of turtles, or is it a bridge for turtles? Bridge for turtles. It looks like it's of, as I'm looking. Oh, it's <laughs> a bridge of turtles, okay. Yeah. I see guys drowning. I you're going to be jumping across them I on see, their backs, kind yeah, of frogger I style. I see fish, and I see crabs, and I okay. Kun Meng says, if cats took over the world, would spray bottles be the first things to go? <laughs> They'd be up there. Yeah, right next to dogs. Yeah, exactly. No, dog. They want to keep dogs around because they're going to have them be like their servants or something. Oh, Planet of the Apes style. I got exactly. You. All right, I mean, so we're talking, you know. Bouncing from turtle to turtle. I think the fish are influencing the turtle. 
T2 has a question, sir. You yes. need to respond. Oh, what do we got? It says, where did the Sponge Diver character on the Game & Watch interstitial card come from? Uh, I did not. So what, uh, let's go take a look right now. So what you're speaking about is this. Uh, I don't know which game it came from. I found a graphic that had That's all of the these octopus. guys together. That's oh, you're the right. Octopus it game. is from the Octopus game. That's right. Yes, yeah. the divers from that. Absolutely right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that little teardrop is actually the treasure bag he was carrying back to yeah. the boat. There we go. Yeah, lower right corner. It's definitely from Octopus. Yep. I didn't find it there. I found this graphic cohesive, and I, I cut it out and made it just black and white and put it on here. But, uh, yeah, he's definitely from Octopus. Mike Benowitz is here. He says he has a game and watch. All right, cool. Cool. Which one? Say. I think yep. he might have been the person that had the Mario one that we were playing. Oh, yeah? Maybe? Or... Okay. So it looks like... Fallen Dragon Knight says cat necros are already invading his tabletop, if you saw his painted minis. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh. So they dive to eat those fish. So you got to watch out where the fish are. Ah. Can, I, can I just stand on the turtle for a while, I guess? Yeah, they don't mind. So the fish comes. Because the fish are Yeah, until the fish eat. comes. So he's going to dive. He'll come back. They, All right, I get it. They raise their heads. I wonder if they try and bite you when you are on their back. Oh, stream boss had a response. He said he missed the middle of the stream. So that's why he didn't see it. If you'd like to go back to Octopus at any time, you just let us know, stream boss. <laughs> I have earned one relief. <laughs> <laughs> but now what do I do? You asking us? Yeah. I don't you know. just got to keep going and getting treasure and then... Don't die. Oh, there. Yeah, the... so you... Oh, I got to jump up on the shore to get the treasure. I see. That was my problem. And then problem. you go back and carry it to the other guy. Yeah. Well, there was no guy up there. I had to jump up there to make him appear. You're just the flunky. Yep. I'm just the intermediary. Yeah. <laughs> go eat a fish. Minor Tom says, I have a modern game called a phone. All right, now. <laughs> That, that's against the spirit of collecting stupid old games. That's right. <laughs> oh! There's no point to it. He Sploosh. dove after you jumped. Yeah, I was up in the air. Every time you go left, you get another load. Yeah, yeah. Yep, the boss is right. He observed. See, I didn't see that guy wasn't up there. He doesn't stand around. You have to jump up there for him to appear. And I got three points just for doing that. All right, so we got and 11 points for going back and getting a new one. So I'm going to eat that fish. All right. That was kind of risky, but that's okay. Well, the guy wasn't the there. Game any different is T2 is asking if the B game is uh, any different. No idea. Let's find out. Uh, looks like I need to actually die to get to the B. You know, no, I don't. I can reset the game. Boom. Uh, B game. Here we go. Come on, guy. Here he is. So, so far, is not it too... possible that he jump that he appears when you jump up, or is it just at a certain time? Uh, maybe on maybe so. Maybe he appears when I jump up. So... Or maybe B game, he only appears when he wants to. In A game, it's when you jump up. I wonder if that's the difficulty. Oh, he's factor. he's over there now. So he was already there. So certainly he comes when he wants. It looks like. Minor Tom, they're probably moderately i would he asks if they're cheap or expensive i'm guessing they're moderate price it depends on the location you find them in the like what condition they're in and the rarity of the particular game and watch well, and they were per like they were prolific and so it's not like they just made a limited number of them so they were everywhere so odds are oh there's two fish at once yeah. so definitely problematic here so there's the the, the b game is definitely fish are coming fast and furious here T2 points out that our phones are more powerful than the computers used in the applications. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, big time. Yeah. I think our C64 was more powerful. <laughs> <laughs> that still amazes me what they could do. Well, what they did with limited resources. Yeah, but there was one resource that wasn't limited, and that was guts. Yep. Unlimited guts. Across the whole team. Because oh, really, I fell in. Know that, and, a, and a little bit of insanity too, I think. Right, and I don't think this generation would have that same approach because most of those guys were all test pilots, right? Yep. So that has a whole I'm different all the original. Yeah, all the originals were. Right. Come on, dude, get up there. 
Whew, that was close. The B game makes this a much better game, quite truthfully. Hmm. What gets me is, you know, the phone's powerful shuttle, you know, decades later. Whoa, whoa, it fell in. Dang it. 37. When did the shuttles first start taking off? Was that 82? 86? 82? Yeah, 82, yeah. Oh, 80, yeah, no, 86 would have been. 82, 83, something like that. Yeah. Somewhere in that range, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know I was in middle school. That's good. All right. Uh, dislike the turtle abuse. Enjoy the idea of letting someone else, there's food in front of your face. <laughs> it, it'll letting someone die because there's food in front of your face. Okay. So should I continue then or a little more turtle abuse? That's really what he finds distasteful. He'll let us know. I, you know, I didn't set the clock, which I know bothers him. So let's fix that while we're waiting to hear. It's almost exactly 10. There we go. Oh, I missed it. Oh, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 p.m. Got it. That's the old school way of clock setting. Yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it if is. you missed it. <laughs> yep. Uh-oh. Uh, first space remember. shuttle mission was 81. 81, okay. Says. Yeah, that sounds, that's right. Because I was, uh, I cut school to oh, watch I think it. I set the alarm. Let's move on, please. All right. Yes, boss. We're on it. Here we go. Old people here, where were you when Challenger exploded? Yeah, we've talked about this on the podcast uh, and yeah. a couple other different settings. High I school. know exactly where I was. Yep. I was in the drive through lane at Wendy's on Thomasville Road in Tallahassee, Florida with my mother driving the car. I had left school early that day. Never forget, we were pulling around the little turn to go up to the little speaker box, and that's when it came over the radio. Mm. I could still hear the announcement in my head. I was actually college uh, hungover. Waking up late. Yeah. <laughs> and somebody, my roommate was playing it on his TV, and I was like, what was that? <laughs> Did I hear that right? Zelda. How about that? So Cool. I actually took this one out of order. I went to Zelda. The last one is Vermin, which we made fun of in our podcast, so I'm doing that one last. <laughs> okay. Fallen Dragon Knight wants to know who's a fan of Discworld. Just came across Death looking through the post for that ship picture. I don't oh, know much Discworld. about Discworld. Oh, Discworld. That's the whole series of books. Terry Pratchett. Mm, okay. Uh, really good. They have a that series that just came out that I talked about on the show. Um, the Watch. Oh, okay. That's set in Discworld. So it was, oh, yeah. I remember you talking about that. Yep. So I'm trying to kill this guy. I don't know what the overarching... I feel like I feel like this one probably has a lot going on that I don't know about. Kung Meng was in high school in one of the common areas when the shuttle exploded. I was in high school uh, in, in the band hall. From school watching it live from... Watching it blow up live. Yay. Well, I killed him. Oh, it's like a Street Fighter thing. I just had an enemy that I had to kill, I think. Uh, Stream Maybe. Boss says, uh, we were doing a science unit in second grade, so we were all out in the recess field watching. They sent us all oh. home, offered us counseling, and the following days it hit him really hard. Mm. Oh, Lake Placid. I think that's what he means, Lake Placid, yeah, from Great Star. No, I've seen uh, that. That's, uh... Yeah, I saw it. Alligator in the Lake and um, Oliver Platt was one of the actors in that that I like a lot. He's a really good actor. Seemed too much. Whatever happened to him? Ouch. Yeah, I haven't seen him in this like decade. I think you know he had he a big every string of a <laughs> stuff. The last one I remember him in, and he was kind of a pseudo star of the film, but it was a terrible film. Was Ready to Rumble? He was in. Um... The one with uh, Kevin Bacon and the dreaming thing. Yeah, Flatliners. Flatliners, that was one of that's the it, thank you. Yep. He was also in uh, one of Matthew oh, McConaughey's T2 early he's Up T2, just a, he's on Chicago Med. Ah, okay. Got him. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely rest in peace, Terry Pratchett. That's an amazing mm -hmm. author. So, so it's kind um, of like a Street Fighter-y thing. The guy at the okay. bottom is like, Blu like Bluto in the Popeye game. If he gets below you, he can reach up and stab you. Oh. And then it looks like I'm slowly gathering treasure. So I just moved up to a new, like, dungeon level or down or however you want to think about it. This is absolutely a later model. Yeah, there's a lot more going on here. Well, and just the uh, way they've decorated the the bezels. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So see how, like the, water the, life see how the skeletons are trying to reach up to poke me? Mm -hmm. And he's about to. 
Uh, Minor Tom says, I would like to get an Airfix arcade kit if it's real. If not, it should be. An Airfix? I Airfix? don't know what that is. Not sure what you're talking about. Stream Boss says, top like a map. It appears to be less a map, more kind of like progression, I think. It's showing, because I can see it says Triforce and treasures that I get. Tomahawk I have now. So like your inventory, possibly? Yeah, it looks like an inventory and a progression thing. Oh, the, there is a little map in the lower left, actually, now that you mention it. So there is a map, but in the lower left. All right, so then I go up here. Uh, Kun Meng points out Zelda was an 86-87 game. Region. Yeah. This one you're saying? Maybe? Well, just Zelda in general. Normal Zelda. Was it? Okay, so this had to be like early 90s then when this came out, probably. I, I would think so. Yeah. Oh, oh, I got hurt. Hurted it. He's talking about the Famcom Nest Zelda. Hurted it. Did. Uh. uh. Well, so there's a lot to this that I thought we could read the instructions and dive through. I think it's beyond the scope of this. I mean, but it has inventory. It has a map. It has progression. It has fights. This is probably the most advanced one of the, all of them we've seen. This is not like a super casual game. It The bottom is a little casual game, but up top there's a larger story going on, which that's kind of, that's kind of awesome. My guess is that they had to... They had to have increased chip capacity for memory, right? Yeah, and this you was, think? again, post-87 for sure, right, for this right. one. So, yeah, no question. You know, actually, we can get game information. I just remembered that. Uh, Minor Tom says, Airfix is a model brand I have. It won two Spitfire and her. T2 asks if the water of life down at the bottom is a heel. It did. did I, 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 I couldn't get down there, actually. You can't get down, up or down, until you finish a battle. So maybe that now keep in mind, they might repurpose this screen with different graphics later. Wow. And do something so, different with it. I just looked up the uh, Zelda game and watch yeah. on eBay. Uh -huh. So they, the cheapest I see is one that is, it must be used pretty heavily. It was 130 bucks. That's, that's the, that's the cheap one. Wow. <laughs> but I, and there's one here that is, uh, they're asking 990. Ooh. So like pristine or something? Or it has, something? It's, it's with the original packaging and everything. Mm. Asking isn't getting, but that's but impressive. They have, they, yeah. Apparently there's 17 watchers on that one. Of course, that doesn't mm. mean anything, but still. So, yeah, I can't go down at all, Stream Boss. Four-way pad, up or down. No, I can't get down. So, wow, I'm saying this. The price so maybe you're not getting over. down. Maybe just down heals you. Yeah, well, I have four hearts, so I'm not hurting. So it looks like I could... Oh, look at the map. So the map, there is a left and right path. So depending on which way I go. So if I take this left path, I go see the flashing dot on the map. There's like a, mm -hmm. there's this course and this course. So I think depending on that's picking a direction. So I'm going to go this one. Yep. And I went up there. Interesting. Die thing. There you are. Interesting. Wow. Greg Snark says he was in the eighth grade when the space shuttle blew up. Yeah, it was a okay. So apparently, I'm the oldest time. one. Yeah, yeah, I was in the band hall. Yeah, I was the only one in college at that time. All right, thank you. Well, I think I was either a freshman or a sophomore. I can't remember. Because that was what eighty five or eighty six. Uh, eighty six. Eighty six. Early eighty six. Yeah. Eighty six. Yeah. If it was early eighty six, I would have still been in the freshman. So. Fall of 86, I would have been right, So no, no healing down there. Can't do anything with it. So let's go take this guy's last hit point. Poke him right in the nose. And that expands the map again. So Maybe see. you have to collect the water of life before you can use it. Possibly. You know, where it would be yeah. in your inventory or something. So now I have just have one choice to go. <laughs> and Aaron Clark decided to make me feel really good. He says, I was about to enter preschool. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Aaron. I appreciate that. Oh, look. So your your health persists across battles. So I left the last battle with two hearts, and that's what I have again. And Kung Meng is giving us some stuff from Wiki. Zelda is a multi-screen game and watch game that was only released in English as a standalone system preloaded with a single game. It has dual screens, which fold in a clamshell design similar to the Nintendo DS. Yep. Yep. That, that checks out. Right. It all checks out. If you have a few hundred dollars, you can buy one now. And, and it, it. it's oh. it's undoubtedly the most... It's very complex. Com com yeah, it has the most complexity going on. Yeah. Oh, now I've gained... Oh, Water of Life. Oh, T2 says move on at your leisure. Yep. Awesome. So if you gain the Water of Life and you press down, maybe now it was hearts. Oh, I did. It totally did. 
<laughs> and it spent it. That's cool. Using your inventory, that's all kinds of badass. I just want to know what's above me here. What is that? So T2 says... Oh, look, I'm up top! To There's start. a boss! There's oh, a the boss! Dragon. Yeah. I like to fight the boss, so that's okay with the boss. You got four hearts left down there. Yeah, I'm working on it. I'm hurting him a little bit. There's a thing that's counting down there. I'm not sure if that's the boss's It should be his points. health. Yeah, hopefully it's his health. Oh, that's a cool graphic, though. It is a cool graphic. How much, health, is, how much health does he have? I can't look. 40. Oh, damn. Now 37, 34, 31. 31. Yeah, it's hitting him. 28. 25. Looks like three every hit. 22. 22. 19. 16, 13. I'm just having to play slalom with his bullets. Three, four more hits. Seven. Seven. Four. One. one. You hit him. He should be dead. Oh, look at that. There's a piece Flat of the Triforce. A, pile. a piece of there the Triforce is here. And your score went Ooh. up 220. Oh, T2 says, looks like Ghidorah. That's Pandrick <laughs> the Mo right there. And then I'm, and then I'm back to here. That is a really amazing for a Game & Watch on my, in my book. Dang. Is that the last one since it was the Z? Oh, he skipped one. I skipped Vermin. I skipped oh. Vermin. Yeah, other than, other than the Vermin. Yeah, it was the last one gotcha. alphabetically. I just skipped one just for dramatic effect because I figured Vermin, I knew Vermin was not a big deal. <laughs> to have it last was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Vermin for last? Yeah, well, it's it's a very simple game. But that, not, not bad, just very simple. And looks boom. It's weird looking, I'll give you that. All right, here we go. Vermin is basically whack-a-mole, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. And you can buy one for 130 bucks. Vermin? It was one of the rare ones. Really? That's what we were talking about. Yeah. Yeah, 130 is what it's going for. Dang. It came out in 1980, apparently, so it was an early one for sure. And you can see why it would be one of the rares, because how many people were buying this one? Yeah. Like, they might have produced the first run and then said, no need for a second run. <laughs> yeah. Miss So said, 130? Oof. I'm like, yeah, you're not kidding. <laughs> right. And so it's just kind of whack-a-mole-y, and whack -a -mole. you need to have your little mallet over the mole when he comes up. Otherwise, he I this know, is he, exciting. eats fruit or something. As you yawn, yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> an early one. Fast, it's rudimentary. <laughs> yeah. What are you Ooh. whacking, anyway? Moles. Wait, what am I whacking? We I can't just tell. About Can you tell? He's not whacking his balls. Moles. There are moles on my... Whoa, no, wait. Can you hear me? Yes, we hear you yeah, just fine. Mo broke his computer. We hear you fine. I didn't break my computer. I just couldn't hear you for a second. Oh, okay. <laughs> just so Where's anybody the... is wondering, the GXG Media Bot is currently playing a classic Bugs Bunny cartoon. All right. Oh, which one? Uh, I don't know, but Bugs Bunny is dressed as a girl genie that appears in the thumbnail. <laughs> that can only be great. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. All right. So, if it please the stream boss... This is the T2's on Amused. Let's play Octopus if there's time. I was just going to say, I was going to offer anything else you'd like to see. After three hours of this, my eyes are starting to hurt a little, but it's still <laughs> up to the stream boss. Octopus, it is. Absolutely. Since you didn't get to see that. Moving our way back. And we were kind of talking through Octopus, so I'll take a little more time here, too, to talk uh, about what we're seeing. Kung Mangs has moved from one hammer putting out fire to two hammer whacking mm Mm-hmm. Oh, goodness. Were those moles? Well, How many times are you going to ask that same question? Because I didn't hear the answer last time. We, oh, thing. okay. <laughs> yes, we, those are moles. We discussed this, Mo. <laughs> I, I, was, I couldn't hear anything. From, that's why I was like, you guys hear me? Yes. Yes. So it literally is whack-a-mole. Well, I mean, that, that's, yeah. well, I didn't look in the instructions, but I'm guessing. Yeah, so, okay. So let's get the clock set. I know the boss likes that, so let's go ahead and get that, that done. That octopus looks very tired. He's a little sleepy. He does. He's a little sleepy. That's true. Or he's he on. Looks sad. He's, he's on sea mushrooms, possibly. There we go. Uh, the one in the corner looks very chipper. Yes, Minor Tom. This will likely be the last game, unless T two wishes. And, and, to unless play he says no. All right. I mean, yeah. that's that's the point. Okay. So what's? So you're trying to get the treasure, avoid the octopus. Yep. That's that's. Yep. There you go. That, I couldn't have said it any better. Yep. Or and you didn't, completed and you, that level. Which you did not do there. Well, I'm not playing. This is the clock. I'm just. Oh, okay. We're talking about it. Yeah. T2 says right. the octopus looks hammered. Very. Cute. Just, yeah, exactly. You know, maybe a little depressed. Get a bad day. 
So I go grab some this treasure. This is another one of those that had to be a later model, though, because of all the background colors. Mm -hmm. I really but like the colors it. are just painted on, though. But early ones didn't have it at all. At all. Oh, yeah. yeah. So you grab treasure, go to the boat. And there's apparently three of you, so the last one's like, yeah, you guys keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Uh, I was in a, ooh, such a rush to get to the boat, it didn't work out. Mm. See, now... Now the other guy's going. Yep. He's like, wait a minute. I'm not going to die, am I? And the guy in the boat's like, no, no, you're fine. The octopus isn't even hungry anymore. Yeah. <laughs> now's the time to go. It'll be fine. Hey, because you got to think, if you're the third guy in the boat, are you really going down there? I, I think I'd be cranking up the motor. I'm like, dude, <laughs> we got some treasure. I'm going to head home. Back to the house. I don't have to split it three ways now because I'm really <laughs> exactly. one That's right. I'm rich. Enough to bring it back. I'm rich and dry. What more can a diver want? <laughs> the only time you can rest is after you bring back gold because otherwise you can't go. You can't go in the boat. He's like, you're not. I'm even letting you. I'm not pulling up the rope unless you have treasure. I know what's interesting. There's <laughs> no. I guess too long. Because... I cut off your air. Well, that's what I was going to say. There, I guess because they're wearing the diving helmets, there's nothing really that says, you know, you're running out of oxygen, like, say, in Jumbo. No, Jumbahan. no, you can take right. your time there, it looks like. I mean, there's no safe spot in the water, what? except for maybe that first what did, part uh, of the... Looks like Stream well, Boss no, had something fine. to say. What did he say? Hell of a job number two, keep it up. Number two? Well, I'm, he, he's, uh, he, he's, yeah, the... he's number one. Star Trek. No, number two is the number two oh, player. Oh, number two guy. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep it up. Bring back more treasure for me to go home with. <laughs> oh, Kung Meng says Ball and Vermin were 80, 1980 games. Octopus was 1981, so not that far removed. All right. So now it's decision time. The third diver is like, hmm. <laughs> so I have 42 gold. I could go home now. Oh, he pushed me in the water. I, I tried to just sit there and it jumped in. Apparently, uh, I, I'm going in the water, as it turns <laughs> out. Yeah, these, thinking, and these you know, games are going what anywhere from, are going for right now? for 120 to the biggest, highest I see is 300. Wow. Mm. For, well, actually, oh, here's for some. Octopus? Yeah. Wow. 1981. Ooh. Oh, it got me. Now, if you get the Japanese version, those oh, are more expensive. Those are going for course. 350. All right. Let's see what the boss wants. Does he want to see, you want to see the B game? We can do that if you like. Or So, boss? He's checking. Shame about number one, number two, but I can't stick around, says number three. <laughs> I better go home and tell their families. That's right. Too bad we can't <laughs> stay. What is a cool mom? Um, Zelda and Mario Juggler were the last two games. Yeah, Zelda, that makes sense with Zelda, not counting the Mario. The, yeah, of course. Oh. Can you leave skid marks in the water as the, <laughs> as the octopus goes? Grr! I think I did three times. <laughs> T2 asks, what was your favorite, John? What was my favorite? I think that Mario Brothers, the, the, where they're on two sides, and the the Soda Factory, I think that one was my favorite. I would buy that one, I think, if it came out. That was pretty cool. What was, it called? What was that one called? I think it was just called Mario, Mario Brothers, Brothers, I believe. Yeah. Not Super Mario Brothers. I think it was just called Mario Brothers. But it didn't look like the arcade Mario Brothers. It was just Mario Brothers. But it, 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 the creativity of it, there was multitasking, but not so crazy multitasking on the two screens because they were... Things were feeding each other. You know, it wasn't two independent games, so that worked out. Looking close, Mario Juggler was two years after Zelda. Oh, that Mario branded juggling game? Wow. That one was uninspired. <laughs> I, I will go on record. Let's see. While I'm waiting the stream boss's instructions, I'm going to give... Oh, well, there you go. The B game is just hell on earth. Look how fast the tentacles are going. Jeez. He still looks kind of depressed. Ugh. It would be neat if his face changed when he got to eat you. He'd be very happy about it, wouldn't he? <laughs> oh! I, I tried. I, I let it too quickly. I thought it would be gone by then. What a way to go. That would suck. So, eaten by a giant octopus, huh? Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a tough one. <laughs> oh, what did the boss have to say? Something, something going on. I always found it interesting that they had Nintendo branding on the case, but not on the LC screens like the characters in games weren't branded mm. john's introduction to anime is complete <laughs> because there are tentacles and skid marks is that the two criteria 
<laughs> Apparently. All right, boss, let me know what we should do. We're going on about three hours. I think we're just, we've seen all the games we have to look at. You let me know what we should do. Should we end it? Are we good? You want to end it with you on top as the king? Anything else you would like to see or us yeah, to do? Yeah, this doesn't have anyone close to challenging him. <laughs> nope, he's good. He's the king. You are the king of the stream, undoubtedly. Yes. <laughs> do, do, do. Miss So. Oh, boy. <laughs> that's hentai, John. Well, <laughs> Sorry, Minor Tom. Listen, I, I, I don't want to know the terms for these things. Don't correct me. <laughs> don't, just... It's like if I'm I know the term for it. Now, Splatterhouse is over. He just mentioned you wrecked it. You wrecked it. Yeah. You're so really it's been three hours. We've seen them all. The T2 is still the boss. Yep. Have a good evening. Three hours. That's all from T2. There it is. It has been a hell of a lot of fun. T2, thank oh, you for yeah. being the stream boss. Congratulations to being Congrats. a first Gen X grown up stream boss. Appropriate. Uh, it's, I, I, I never have looked at all of these games, certainly not in one sitting. I've never really looked at them in any kind of detail like this. And so that's been cool. I hope you enjoyed it too. As always, man, George and Mo, you guys being on the live stream makes it so much more fun for me, especially. And I hope for, I expect for the viewers too. That's what I hear. So Mo, thank you so much. Oh yeah. It's fun. Man. George always love when you're here. It's great. Thank you for being here. Uh, absolutely, sir. Hope you enjoyed your nuggets. You made me hungry. I'll go get some food now myself. Yeah, so. me too. <laughs> I did. So, again, thanks, everybody, for being here. I appreciate you, and I hope you enjoyed it. We will talk to you next time. Bye-bye. See, See you, everybody. Guys. And good night. <laughs>